good. Natural spring water. This is Jamaica in the hills of Portland. Look at this. Hills of Portland, this. Water does a run, sun, a waste, so I never tell you about drought. Look at this. Nice. No. Yo, no, no money in a day, you have to get in a father. No money in a day, you have to get in a father. No money in a day, you have to get in a father. Alright, alright. No money in a day, you have to get in a father. I swear to you. No funds in a day, brother. Yes, them know you. Bless <laughs> no to God. Welcome to Jamaica. Italian. Italian, 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 What's up beautiful people, it's yours truly, 876 by birth and welcome to another driving through Jamaica. It's yours truly 876 by birth as you just heard in the intro and right about now I'm actually in the Bagua Gorge right which is located in St. Catherine and guys I'm heading to Portland yeah I'm heading to Portland and I do have a little company with me so from time to time you might hear us having a conversation or whatever so just stay for the ride people enjoy the trip when you don't know the thing go make sure you like the video make sure you share comment and subscribe to the channel. We know that we know YouTube work already. Just do the right thing. You understand? Yeah man. So we day up our journey. We might even make a few stop stop when we know the thing goes. I say me have a me have a ride along with me today. She's not from Jamaica so I go make sure I kinda point out the things to her and stuff. Yeah so just full joy the video people and drop in the comment in the comment section alright yeah man don't know the thing goes eh? yeah we there
right, so you see this? It says emergency closure system. That's a big sign, right? Okay, we passed it. Okay. So the barge can be flooded. And when it's flooded, it's very dangerous. So if there's rainfall and it gets flooded, it's dangerous. And the water rises in here real quick. Real, real quick. Wow. Yeah. Going to um, Portland, or actually, I go through Kingston, we are go up Kansan Spring Road, and we are going to take the you don't know, we are drive through the junction and things. So, that's the route we are taking, all right. It probably going to take a little bit longer than usual, as my seconds. Uh, we are part Lisa, and yeah, we are sure a few things, you understand. So, we might circle a few places in a Kingston when we get there, and all them things downtown, probably sure. She might not even be fascinated by that because she's more a nature person. She don't want to see a building or whatever. She's more the trees and stuff. <laughs> so yeah. But as I said, people stay for the journey. I understand. Yeah, man. Yeah, I was telling you, like, the, the water here, it rises real fast. Like, this river is not anything to play with. Once it rains, when it rains, whenever it rains, yeah, because so the government, they build the thing, they close this whole road section off. They have barriers. They shut it off. You have to take a different route once it, if it if it's raining too hard and it's flooded. The water gets way up, wow. way way up. Like after a heavy rain or whatever, if this section is flooded, you could actually look. Like one time I noticed the trees, the plants right here, they were brown and dirty and all that stuff. And I was talking to somebody who's familiar with this area, and they told me that yeah, it was the water that was up there. And I'm talking way up. Yeah, like that they, they, the So when it, when it was when it was yeah when it came back down. It um when it received what they call it recede or whatever when he came back to the regular level, you can see the mark along the way. So the, the, you see the brown spots and then the greenery of the trees. And the guy was telling me that yeah, that that's how high the water went. And I was like, shit, it gets really high in here whenever there's a flood. So you, yeah, no one can drive through here. Yep. Remember we were talking about West Virginia? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like what that looks like. Yeah. Honestly. This part, this area, could be somewhere to West Virginia. Wow. Because okay. it is very green, it has a lot of nature, it has a lot of like streams and stuff like that. Right, right. As well with like the boulders, the rocks. Oh, okay. Uh, you wouldn't see plants as, as exotic as you see here, of course. Oh, oh, oh. It's greenery with like the rocks and the rivers. Yeah, 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 yeah. And roads like this. Wow. Yep. This river is actually called Rio Cobre. Cobre? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's, yeah, it should, it's Rio Cobre. Yeah, because Rio Grande is in Portland. So, uh, yeah, this is a Rio Cobre River. Is this part of the Ocho Rios? Yeah, I think, this runs, runs from, from I think this runs from... I think this runs from... Yeah, I think so. I'm not 100% sure. But, I, yeah, I think so. This runs a long way. This is very long. Even runs through a section of Portmore and stuff where I'm wow. from. Yeah, it's very long. People, I tell Lisa said that bridge is the most dangerous bridge in Jamaica, probably the world. I don't know. <laughs> I don't tell her, but yeah, this bridge you want to get this on, 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 on thingy. Right, we have a red light, so just gonna, and then I'll go slow. Okay, you want to unbuckle your seatbelt too? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so this bridge has a whole lot of stories. It was built by the slaves, a whole lot of stuff. Whenever they say, whenever the river wants blood or whatever. It comes up and the water changes to a different color and for some strange reason vehicles always go over wow. yeah so you have to take your seat belts off <laughs> and, and wind your windows window. yep no yeah but you see 
is a very short bridge. Beautiful. Yeah. Bridge. In Jamaica. Yeah. A lot of Jamaicans are scared to go drive over this. A whole lot. Like, and you see how loud it is? Some of them, they get louder. That's what I'm telling you. The guys, they deliberately take the silencer out. Yeah. So we're on the other side. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hopefully we get a clear spot. section here the Bagua Gorge they even have a famous rock shapes like a vagina wow. yeah, it's a popular thing I forgot to show it to you when we were coming it's very close to where I showed you the um the the, the bridge with the tunnel where the train runs along it's very close to that section it's it's popular in Jamaica they call it Pum Pum Rock <laughs> yeah oh, so yep 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 a lot of people too. That's a famous thing too. A lot of people want to see oh, that too. When they, yeah, yeah. Yep. That is awesome. <laughs> yep. So I'm telling you about the trucks and stuff yeah. through here. And you see the traffic and so and they these people they try to pass these trucks before they get onto the mountain there, Mount Russell. Uh -huh. Because it's like a go slow up there. It's really crazy. And it's really harder to overtake up there. So, yeah. of St. Catherine, we'll be entering into a section called Spanish Town, right? That's now like a residential places, it's a little town too. It's actually it's actually one of the, I think this was one of the first, yeah, spikers. Yeah, this was, I think Spanish Town, oh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think it was, yeah, the first capital of Jamaica. But it was called St. Jago de la Vega because we were colonized by the but Spanish, Spanish first. Yeah. yeah. The Spanish and the British fought. Right, 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 yeah. The British overtook Jamaica. What was it, like 17? I, I don't even remember, but they did. Yeah, at some point. I don't, I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember, trust me. I don't remember, but yeah. This is the one of the exits for the toll if we actually took it. You see the sign saying Ocho Rios, Kingston? Yeah. yeah. So this is one of the exits, Spanish Town. This area is called Angels. It smells very fresh out here. Yeah, it does? It's like nature, yeah. Like okay, like, well that's so, good. Someone must be cutting grass. Probably, <laughs> probably, probably. But Spanish Town can be polluted, but it's not like Kingston, but yeah. And we're pretty close to Kingston right now. Yeah. Yeah, pretty close. Now 
you're gonna notice you're gonna be seeing a whole lot of KFCs and because we're no longer in the country. Yeah. It's yeah. Like more like fast food. Yeah. So you'll be seeing that. So you'll also see these stuff like tents put up and stuff. Those are like churches. I don't know if they do that know. in Colombia. Not that, so much. Some 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 of the churches they put up tents closer to the communities and stuff. They do have churches in the communities too, but they put up tents and they keep what do you call it? Like crusades, like a series of church services every day or every night. They you see a whole lot of that, especially in this side. This side. Yeah. So do you feel like this side has more of a Spanish cultural influence? Not not really, no. no? Okay. The only thing is just the buildings within Spanish town. Just okay. the buildings. But you don't really find a lot of Spanish whatever people around or whatever like there's a section I think in St. Elizabeth that's on the western side closer to Montego Bay end where they said there was a German ship that actually like docked off the coast or something so a lot of the persons that side they have they're from like German descent oh, okay. so they look German and stuff they're like brown high like light skin sorry yeah, yeah like light skin people so they have a lighter complexion and stuff. So that's like the only place probably. But apart from that, you find everybody everywhere. Okay, that's awesome. So in Jamaica, we have a saying, we call it the Jamaican motto. It says, out of many, one people. So yeah. the, it's a whole lot of person. Just like the same thing we we're talking about with America, melting pot. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing in Jamaica. You have Jamaican Chinese, like Chinese people were born in Jamaica. You have white people, Caucasians that were yeah. born. It's pretty much, you know, there's just the same like yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. That's what my friend was telling me the day before I came here. He was yeah. saying that he would meet some people that like looked very Irish but then they had very thick Jamaican accents. Yeah. It was, like, yeah. Very confusing. Yeah, and they were born here. They were born, especially back in the days a lot of British people, all of them people, they, they, they just came, a lot of them came to, um, for vacation, whatever, and they just never left, and then they had their kids there, they had their kids there and stuff, you know, yeah, so that's how it happened, so yeah, I went to school with people that were Chinese, like fully Chinese, and they were Jamaican, had a Jamaican birth certificate, wow, yeah, and, do they and, have Jamaican accents, yeah, speak wow. Jamaican, just like me, them talk Jamaican, like them, they can speak, fluent Jamaican like the Patois wow. they can, yeah mm -hmm. yeah and their parents too some of them their parents are actually Jamaican with Jamaican birth certificates a whole lot Caucasians every everybody everybody Indians every everyone some places in Jamaica too you can find a whole lot of um Indian people okay. yeah a, a whole lot you do have communities that are known for just a lot of Indians over there. Yeah. yeah, it's like they just settled right there. Yeah. All right, so I'll just take you through the town section of Spanish Town. There's like a bypass around there, but it's just the road and traffic. A lot of times it's traffic. Whenever I'm coming through here, most times I take it through the town because it's faster. It will still have traffic, but it's faster. Yeah. Yeah, and the bypass is supposed to bypass the traffic, but it doesn't. <laughs> oh, and Spanish Town can be one of the most dangerous places to in Jamaica. Oh, yeah. It's not Kingston, but very dangerous it had had its dark moments it's not that bad right now it is bad right now but it's not that bad it had its dark moments at one point there was like gang war going on because there's like two major gangs in Spanish town okay. and at one point trust me they had like at one point like maybe three persons were dying daily in this little small wow. community yeah and it happened for like a, a, a little bit of time This is Chad calling back. Hold on. Oops. I think I disconnected the call. Try to call him back. Hold on. 
just tell him that we're probably not going to make it today because yeah. we're heading. Yeah. We can even drive back and just do a short hike on our own. For check, hold on. Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 my general. Alright, watch it go on, because we're not getting back in. You know. we're, we're not sure if we're going to make it today, up there, you know, because. We actually did make a drive somewhere and then we get caught up in something, so maybe we wouldn't make it there today. But watch a pre. I tell you, if we're gonna come through, I definitely you make a shout and we are definitely do the thing, man. Probably, probably, brother, brother, probably. But yeah man. Yeah man, as I say, once we are come through still, are you we are gonna knock? We're not, yeah, are you we are gonna knock? See? Yeah, yeah family, bless up. Yeah. Oh that was yeah. Okay, I yeah. thought it was the mountain man. No, but the mountain man was trying to call me, so I'm going to try to call him back. And then I got to be careful here because there's like a law. You can't be on your cell phone while driving. They have a huge oh, ticket fine. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. Really crazy. Huge. They recently raised the fines for the tickets. Wow. Ridiculously. Like, all right, I'm not getting through to him. It's like... Getting through to him, so if he calls back, I'll pick up. Yep, it definitely got rain. Oh, yeah, so the humidity. Yeah, there. it's different. You can even like breathe in, it's you can, yep, thicker air. Yeah. <laughs> Like this side in Kingston, it's been. You see how it was like at Miss Jen's place? Yeah. It's that's how the entire Jamaica felt. But as I said, I can't stop saying it. Since lately, yeah. it's like this. And it shouldn't even feel that way right now, especially yeah. since it just finished raining. It should have been nice air, yeah. crisp and nice. But yeah. Okay. yeah. So these are the guys that does delivery. Backpack on their thingy, yeah. They're crazy, crazy riders, I'm telling you. Some of these roads, they're like they're forays and stuff. Some of them, they're, you have stop signs like for this way, but some of them it's like or right away so we don't have to stop. Uh -huh. But you have to be like, you have to look out for people that's coming across. Cause, so, <laughs> I, I don't even know. Again, she's, she's probably on her phone. I don't know what she do, but she's cursing somebody. But yeah, so stop signs here, they carry the same weight as they do in the US, where you should stop and whatever, but people don't. They For traffic lights, they will stop. But stop signs, they, 
Nah, they don't. They do not. It's very rare, you know? Like they don't they don't honor stop signs here. Especially if you're at a four-way. You know you know you're at a four-way, it's who got there first, you know. Yeah. Exactly. They don't they don't nah. A guy goes through and he want he just follows the other guy. He's like not even gonna wait. Yeah. Just follows, yeah. And so and so it is. But yeah, this is like the town of Spanish town. This is like the heart. One thing I also noticed, no, I don't see anybody really smoking cigarettes. No, no. People, people, and and that was a shocker for me the, when it, when I like first visited like the cold states in um, you know, because I noticed people and I realized they most persons smoke because of the cold or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But here in Jamaica, people do smoke smoke cigarettes and all that stuff, but the it's not a lot. Yeah. A lot of people do it, but it's not really a lot, lot like that. Because I'm pretty sure, especially in the town of Pittsburgh, if we were like going through right now, you'd see a whole bunch of people smoking yeah, cigarettes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah that, that was something shocking to me whenever I, when I was there. I was like, shit, everyone smokes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But well, you do have guys that smoke. Cancer too. Yeah. Mm -hmm, definitely. But you do have people that smoke here, like. You have you have guys that smoke, but they mostly smoke like marijuana. They smoke yeah. weed. Yeah. They smoke weed. Mostly like the older men probably smoke cigarettes. So these buses are being loaded to go into Kingston, downtown Kingston. Oh, okay. So you have like loader men, persons that just That's make sure noise and load the buses. Different from the yeah. So he's smoking a cigarette. See? Yeah. yeah. And then our schools here, they actually wear like uniforms. So yeah, I didn't notice that. Yeah, so you find different, so different. You know where yeah, different, different uniforms, school children and stuff. So this is like the town. So as soon as it gets to rush hour, there's a whole bunch of traffic. So that for, to come down this side, if it was rush hour, we would have taken so much longer. Oh, wow. There'd be more buses, more people, more cars, taxis, everything. But this is like the main, the main road through the town of Spanish Town. And this, in like a couple of hours from now, it's gonna get so congested. Oh, wow. Yeah, like snail, people be crawling just to get people coming off work and stuff. And there'd be so much more people on the road to walk in. Like later on, like three, four, five o'clock, six o'clock. nothing even this intersection right here it will be so hard to pass wow. yeah this is this is this is not busy this, this is regular Spanish town yeah trust me in the mornings and evenings that's when you see it gets busy over here is like a police station the major police station for this area and then a little bit down the street there's a hospital Spanish town hospital one of the most popular hospitals too in Jamaica Healthcare stinks though. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it sucks over there. The um, what do you call it? Prenatal, the pregnancy section. Uh -huh. Prenatal. Yeah. That part over here, they say it's very good. I've heard really good reviews oh, yeah, about it. Yeah, good. yeah, they say it's very good. But it's on the same hospital complex. But <laughs> the hospital, hospital itself makes no sense. Right here is the entrance to it. See the little oh, sign right there, yeah. Spanish Town Hospital. Yeah, the, the pregnancy section is good, but the regular section, nobody wants to go over here. Wow. People be like, if anything happens to me, take me to whatever. Yeah. Yeah, they don't, because 
they say you go over here with a small injury and you end up dying. Wow. It's, yeah, people die like crazy over there That's crazy. for small stuff. It's crazy that they don't like intervene like the government does intervene. No, they don't That's care. The government, the government owns it. It's a government owned. It's a public hospital. The government wow. don't care. They don't care. So do you have like health care here? Where you, like, yeah, people get right insurance now? and stuff, but you have to have a like, you have to be working like a good job and stuff to get whatever. Because you have different, it's the same thing like in America, different type of health care. Okay. The insurance card gives you different levels of insurance, but it's never good. Like it's never that good. It makes no sense. Oh. The probably the only thing that makes sense because like room and board uh -huh. makes no sense. Like room and board is probably um uh, I don't have my health card on me now, but I I, I would have looked at it and tell you, room and board is probably like three thousand Jamaican dollars, right? And if you should go in the hospital, more than likely, people that are admitted, they're not, they're spending more than one night and stuff. So that $3,000 makes no sense. This is a public bus. So these are how the buses look. Yeah, the government owned buses. Yeah, these little buses take you from, they come from Spanish Town to Portmore. Oh. Take you to little, little places. Yeah, you, you see these little buses all around, different communities in Kingston too and stuff. But yeah, so it makes, it, the health thing makes no sense. You have to really have money to get good health care. Trust me. Yeah. And there's a major hospital in Kingston too, called Kingston Public Hospital. The, the, they say the doctors that work there, they're pretty good, but they're overworked. Uh, and it can be, it can be like stressful going to the hospital too, like shit can happen. But this one right here, Spanish Town, has the worst record of you going in for a small thing and coming out back alive. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are persons who went, who goes over there for stuff and they're good and they're okay. But you have, people will tell you, don't ever take me over there. Wow. They'd rather run the risk of dying, probably trying All to get to Kingston. There, yeah. To Kingston, yeah, than to go in there. Yeah, it's crazy. That's another police. Because remember you were saying you haven't seen a lot of police, but, yeah. but, but, yeah. There's a few when you come into Kingston, this section. And this section has like he a heavy crime rate too. The crime is in this, what do you call it? Uh, what, do, what do you call it over there? And when you, the police, the, what, what do you call it? Jurisdiction or what? Yeah, 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 like their jurisdiction. Yeah, so for this one here, they recently like, um, there was something I saw on the news they um killed a whole family like mother father no somebody like went into the house oh robbed them yeah i'm not even not like nobody knows exactly i guess they said it's gang war so oh. they pretty much like mother father and the son like a couple of days ago I just oh. seen it on the new year in this area but as i said like this section spanish town it's it's wild you know yeah I have to be honest, you know, but, no, but yeah, but a lot of the communities though, in Kingston, Spanish, or wherever in Jamaica, even though it's bad, they're the happiest places. Yeah. The people there are so happy. They have so much fun. They're content. I mean, they would really want more, but they're contented with the little that they have. And yeah. they have so much fun. They party all day. All, they party all night, every day of the week. This is a training school for the cops over here. Yeah. So they, they party like all night. And these, like, when you go to street parties inside these communities, oh my god, wow. it's fascinating, yeah. So, even though they, they, it's, they have a whole lot of violence and stuff, they're like the happiest places. And to be honest, the violence is not random. Sometimes, the, it's either like family members are involved or friends or whatever. Yeah, it's not random because you have people that live inside there and they would have a whole lot of fun and they yeah. live for years and nothing happens to them yeah it's like as long as you stay out of control yeah the trouble yep find you. definitely yep definitely so this is the agency i was telling you about like if you want to apply to get a house so it says national oh, housing yeah. trust yeah they're the ones who take money from the people's pay every every time they get a paycheck yeah <laughs> area they have different um branches
getting back in your your type of stuff, nature yeah. and all that. Yeah, we're we're getting we're getting there. Parts of it, yeah. Culture. Yeah, so you see up on that hill up there? Yeah. We're going over that, beyond there. That's nice. where we're headed. Yeah, that's where we're headed. So, like right here, you could see this is where Spanish town ends. Yeah, this is like the outskirts yeah, now. Yeah? yeah, nice. A lot. Like this little hill. another hill or mountain beyond this uh -huh. that's actually where Portland is Catherine pretty much ends right around here and then you have St. Andrew but then once we drive a little bit further it's Kingston and then further out can be St. Andrew <laughs> that is weird yeah <laughs> yep it's mixed up St. Andrew was just upset that day it's like I need this give me that give me that, give me that. yeah and he was just mad at someone
right, so I want to let you see the waterfront. Because when we're coming back, we're not going to drive this way. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm going that way for you to see the waterfront. But usually, let's say we were just heading straight to Portland, we would take it up this right here. That way? Okay. Yeah. yeah. But I, in some sense. Yeah. Like, no, because it's Kingston, but we do have a harbor. Yeah. So just want you to see it. Because as I said, we're not going to come back this direction. Yeah, not good weather here today. The countryside actually had better weather. This road is, it's called Spanish Town Road. It's its one of the worst roads to drive on. Really? Yeah, it has two, no yeah, right. Well, there should be lanes, but if you look, so the, the, the lines on our roads, they're usually white, but they're faded. Yeah. Right, so um, you have some buses, the same little small yellow buses that I showed to you. They go to different communities in Kingston. So they, they make their own lane. And then this road here, it has two sections. There's like a inter major intersection down below. Um, once you get over the other side, that's when they drive at their worst. Oh wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy. But this road here has a lot of factories and stuff like a whole bunch of factories around this, this stretch of road here and car dealerships like authorized car dealerships like Toyota Jamaica all of them stuff yeah you find it this, this road here have a landfill here too so all of the garbage from like Kingston St. Andrew comes to this landfill yeah, and said, can I at least smell something in the yeah air? yeah yeah at night time too when when like the everything settles you can smell it there's a snake yeah. yeah yeah so this landfill now you find that people you have persons that go over there and try to salvage stuff oh, get yeah. stuff and sell stuff yeah yeah you have it you have it there it's on this side though right hand side it's crazy. So yeah, this is supposed to be three lanes. But as you can see, some parts the lines are not even there. It's faded out. Yeah. We can see small remnants of it in some places, but not so yeah. much up here. Yeah. So the um rum. That's a factory. Oh, they ran up here. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's the factory. That's where the good stuff comes from. <laughs> yep. We could do a straight shot over the intersection and stuff, but I'm just gonna go under. So just so you can see. We have the same thing like you mentioned in Colombia, guys trying to wipe glass and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll Usually I'll just do the straight shot and go right over. Stripe, red stripe beer. That's the factory over oh, there. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, see the big oh, wow. stuff. Yeah. This is the entrance. Hey. Yeah, this is the entrance to it. They got a bar and stuff, a sports bar. You can go and get the beer for like way cheaper. Really? Yeah. Uh huh. 
Since recently, they, they've been pretty good. Yeah. Like, no, yeah, because at one point they used to like grab people's cell phones because it was traffic like this, and they're walking, they grab your phone and just run. You can't get them. Yeah, exactly. yeah but they've been pretty good since recent, in recent times. Not much complaint about that yeah. happening, yeah. I was actually going to ask about that because in Colombia, you're not supposed to have your phone out at all. Pretty wow. much anywhere. Yeah? I uh, actually had a, I was mm -hmm. walking up the street the one mm -hmm. time, and I was with my dog, and I had my phone back. These are the guys, see? No daughter papaya. Oh, so she was like, it was your fault why that yes. happened, right? I know, I know, I know. Yo, no, no money in a day after day, no father. No money in a day, I know father. No money in a day, I know. All right, all right. No money in a day after the door. I swear to you. No funds in a day, brother. Bless up. Bobby, boss. Yeah, yeah, Bobby, I swear to God. Welcome to Jamaica. Italian. 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 Me and the artist, I mean, you copy what's on what song? See it by YouTube. Yeah, hey, when you at the lead, I see me. I miss the party, and I see the party. I'm gonna look for you. Yeah, yeah, big up, big up. Yeah, yeah fam. Sneak it around before this truck. Yeah, you see, they're a vibe, right? <laughs> Yep. They're nice though. Like, yeah, they're Colombia, cool. That's what I'm telling they you. They get mad if you don't give them money. Nah, they don't slip out. nah, they're cool. They're, they're, for now, the, there, there hasn't been any much whatever with them. They're they're good. They're good now. But I, I'm really sorry I didn't have like any change. I would have definitely yeah, given like just like a hundred dollars. They're good with yeah. that. But they're good. They're good. They're good. So you see them right now, like these guys. They're all over in, in, in this yeah. part of Jamaica. They're like in Montego Bay too, but Kingston and such. They're they're. If you go a little bit up the street, you're gonna see some. Right here, look 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 right here. Yeah, you, yeah. you see, <laughs> they're everywhere here. I'm telling you, everywhere. He's alone right now, but once it gets close to rush hour, you see them there right at this stoplight. You see them right there too. They're everywhere. Yeah, this is a um uh airport, airport but yeah. it's not. It's just for like small planes. Yeah, no no big planes doesn't come in. So I took it this way because I was telling you about the other side of Spanish Town Road. They drive too terrible there. So yeah. this road can take us. Well, yeah. It was traffic. Yeah. In Colombia, when you're in traffic, you say, Yo soy en el tarco, which means I'm in the tarco. Oh. I don't know why. <laughs> Nobody knows why, why you say that. that? Like, wow. When your friends call you and you're late, you're like, Lo siento, yo soy en el tarco. Yeah. And they're like, okay, you're in the tarco. We wow. get it. Wow. You're going to be late. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, and, 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 and look at the traffic and the time, right? This is not even rush hour yet. It's 1.42. It's not rush hour. Rush hour is like anywhere from like 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. 
this wow. should be yeah it's crazy these are like cars that came off the port because the port is right over here all of this section could be classified as the port behind these buildings and stuff if we were to take it to port or on the toll road whatever we would see most of that stuff but yeah you can see the, the cranes and stuff yeah. take the containers off the ships yeah yeah, go ahead, sure. This road is actually called Marcus Garvey Drive. You ever heard of Marcus Garvey? No. He's a black um, like advocate stuff for Africans and all that stuff. Very popular guy. Yeah, if you, yeah you'd be surprised if you happen to like look up his information. Where is he going? Right. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Very popular guy. Well known across the US too. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's one of our national heroes. He was actually, I think he was deported from America. He has some, I think he has a record there in America. At one point they, was, they were trying to write to Obama to try to get his thing expunged and stuff. Wow. But yeah, I think Obama shot it down. But there is this thing now, because they have somebody within that, they have some Jamaican person within the, I don't even know what it is, Congress or something. So they're trying to, that person is trying to get it done, I think, to like clear his name and stuff. But yeah, this is our oil refinery here. So all our, like the oil store here it comes off, yeah, and it's close to the port as well. The sea is right there. Yeah, yeah, we're, so we're pretty close to the coastline right now in Kingston. We're pretty much on like the southern side of Jamaica right now. Earlier we were coming from the northern side. So do they port all of like oil and gas from the boat to other parts of the island? They truck it. I'm trying to, I, I don't remember if they have another refinery in Montego Bay because a lot of the stuff that are in Kingston, it's also in Montego Bay. I think they have a port in Montego Bay, but I'm not sure of the oil, the, the oil refinery, but um, it, it is possible, but I honestly don't re remember right now. But for the most part, they truck, they truck the oil around the country. Yeah, in trailers. That's what they do. So we're the gas, we're at like a little bit below half tank. Uh, I'm thinking if it, it probably would be better if we probably like pull the tank back up here. Yeah. Because Portland is way more expensive. Montego Bay is way more expensive too. So oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm thinking probably. Pull up her belly. Yeah, so a gas station is like somewhere right there. We can pull in there. It's fairly reasonable compared to the yeah. If you want, I think you could use the card there if you want. Yeah, yeah, we'll use yeah, the card. Yeah. Keep our cash. Definitely. Definitely. Over here is a factory that makes animal feed. Like for horses oh, and yeah. There are like a lot of uh, ranchers here with like horses. Ranchers. Yes, they have. They call them stud farms. So they breed oh, horses. Yeah, yeah, stud farms. You yeah. find a couple of them in close to Portmore area. I'm pretty sure across the rest of the island you have a couple too, but I, I'm not aware of them. But in Portmore for sure you have a couple because there's a big horse race in um a racehorse place. Okay. Yeah, and it's located in Portmore too. So that's where you have a whole lot of the horses at. Yeah. But ranch, like how you have ranches in. America, not necessarily. Is this the line? Yeah, more than likely. Try to see this side. Here's the guest. Oh, it's on the left hand side. Alright. Yeah, so we definitely need to be behind this part.
So the ocean is right there, like pretty much right yeah. there. We're on the coastline. I'm gonna take you to a right, a little section. You can just look out for a couple of minutes and then, yeah. Back on the road, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably like it because it's your type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a thing to note whenever yeah. coming to Jamaica versus, especially a person like you that travels South America. Like, yeah, Jamaica can be cheap, it can be whatever, but you really have to, know what you're doing where you're going, where you're going and how to spend because as i tell you like easily you can spend 200 dollars a day oh, yeah. in jamaica easily yeah just by getting just simple things food getting gas to go around whatever like easily you know yeah because that as i said that's what i usually tell my friends i'm like listen jamaica is nice exchange rate is good but the cost of living is high, high yeah, yeah. <coughs> everything is like three times more and there goes the cops not going anywhere right. blowing their horn not going anywhere they never <laughs> respond with the sirens or whatever Caribbean nice. Sea and Kingston Airport is right across there. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna go to the other end and we're gonna come back so you can you can get you can get a seat over there. This is not really a long stretch of road. Yeah. Yeah. This is called the uh, Kingston's waterfront. Okay. Yeah, it's a harbor as I was telling you. I'm not sure. It's something about this harbor within the whole wide world. I don't, I don't remember. But um, um, it, it, it. Sometimes I'm like, the government or whoever's in charge, which whichever agency, they should do something more with this because I've seen a lot less. I've seen more done with a lot less in different countries. Yeah, exactly. They should have like a boardwalk or something out here. Yeah, if this was so somewhere nice. in America, you'd have a nice boardwalk or something, you know? Oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. The way we want to go. Italian. Yeah, because <laughs> just because the color is skinny or white, yeah, exactly. they, they're, they're gonna be like, yeah, you're American. That's what they think. Exactly. I got that, like, yeah. Good. So yeah, the, the airport is right there. Like sometimes you can come and just sit right there and stuff, and like you would water. get yeah, you can see the planes taking off, planes landing. You can even hear them when they spool up and stuff. You'll just turn around. There's another section a little bit way up there. I'll let you get pictures of that part. It's, good. it's way better. Yeah, way better right there. So here is called downtown Kingston. At one point, it was the business district of Kingston. So all these buildings you see, they're very old, but they were one at one point they were popping. These, yeah. this was the place at one point. You know, yeah. Things were happening here. This guy's selling stuff. It says the Jamaica Conference Center. Yeah, right here is the Bank of Jamaica. So, unlike in America, we have the Bank of America where it's like a, a bank bank like this this is more like the regulatory body of all the financial oh, institutions here in jamaica yeah so it's honestly i'm not sure if it's a bank you can just walk in and open an account but we do have other banks this operates a little bit different from those banks okay yeah so as i said not like bank of america where you just walk in and do business transaction whatever like that this this one is a it's a regulatory body This is 
far from the gray skies right now, but this yeah. is the heart of Jamaica, downtown Kingston. You have another section that's called New Kingston. It's uh -huh. a part of Kingston too. That's now, remember I tell you like downtown was the business district? Yeah. New Kingston now is like the business district of Kingston. Oh. Yeah. So this is a bank over here. This is a bank over here, a whole lot of bank. This road itself has a whole lot of financial institutions on there. So for the military here, are there any like, do you have to go to the military or? If it's mandatory? For, yeah. No, it's not mandatory. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You just saw the female, you, you, yeah. you see her? Yeah. 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 So it's, you have a choice. And it will not be as mandatory for all men. You have to? Mm -hmm. And the only way to get out of it is for like a medical concern. Right, right. Or something like that. Wow. Or if you're like the only person who, um. In your family? Yeah. Like the only man in your family. Oh. <laughs> so a lot of um, you know powerful people or people with money, their children never go to the military because they only like get fake yeah. documentation and stuff wow. like that. And, but if you get caught doing that, then you can get in trouble. But again, oh. there's no problem in Colombia that money can't solve. So. <laughs> wow. So downtown Kingston, like within this section couple of years ago it used to be like you'd have to like a lot of pickpockets and people try to grab your chain or whatever but it's not that you don't really have that a lot here now you get me you don't have so much yeah so much of that now you can do your thing the only thing at night you don't really want to be some of the roads the lonely places you don't want to be on them late at night yeah. that, and, and that's like the norm for anywhere in the world you don't want to be at a lonely place late at night so yeah but for the most part Downtown, you still gotta be vigilant, you still gotta do whatever, but you can, you by yourself can walk freely and do shopping, whatever. I mean, people will always try to talk to you, they come up to you, they'll, some persons will probably still try to beg you money, whatever, but like to just try to like rob you or whatever, like, nah, you happen, won't, yeah. you don't, you wouldn't find that. And as I tell you, Jamaicans, they love tourists, so you walk through here, downtown, it's a very serious place, you walk through here and somebody tries something, they'll kill them. Yeah, they'll 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 tear them up. Yep, they will. And down here, it's like a major um, like a bus park where. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then as I said, it's like a a bus park is right there, where a lot of persons come and take us. Right now, you're not gonna see a whole lot of people, but yeah. Municipal um, police, yeah. So they're not really police, police. They're like city police. Yeah. yeah. They can't arrest you, but they can seize goods or probably give you tickets for stuff. Yeah, he's a police officer. Yeah, he's a police officer. Yeah. And then in in Jamaica, what I noticed, like in third world countries. They're all, it's always the gun first for the police officer. Yeah. Always. Yeah, it's always the gun first. If somebody tries to like attack the police officer, best believe they're gonna be dead. Shot dead too. Yeah, it's gonna be shot dead. Yeah, unlike probably in the US they probably try pepper spray or exactly, tasers. Yeah. I don't even know if Jamaican police has tasers here. Oh, wow. I'm not sure. Like down here now, this is our major court. This is like a criminal court down here. It's called the Supreme Court o over here. It's the Supreme Court. So over here is where all the major like murder cases and stuff get tried and all that stuff. Wow. Yeah. Yep. This road is actually called King Street. Yeah, it's called King Street. Nice car. Yeah, it's a BMW. That, that you'll see a lot here. Like, there are no shortage of cars here in Jamaica. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. People have it <laughs> to purchase cars. Look! Okay, up see. Can't see yeah, right. yeah, it has no parking either. <laughs> yep. So these people are part right. They're running the risk of getting towed. Oh yeah. 
but KFC is that good, they, they rather run the race. <laughs> yep. Hold on, let me see. This is the street. Yeah, this is the street you want to go up. I just wanted to see this street. This street is called Orange Street, but nothing on it is orange. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know why they name it like this. But this is a very popular street in, in down here in Kingston. Like uh -huh. on a weekends, like a Saturday, which is a huge shopping day here, you it's a whole lot of traffic and a lot of people in the street, especially closer to the top. Wow. Yeah, a whole lot of whole lot of people. Yeah, a lot of Syrian have these furniture stores down here on both sides. A Syrian people from Syria. Yeah, a lot. Oh. They're not on the front front, but some of them you'll pass and you'll see a few of them on the front. Mostly Jamaicans are employed in there. The bosses, they're not necessarily on the front, but sometimes you'll see them, like if you look in the stores, you can see them a little bit. Yeah. 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 And down here too, a lot of the wholesale stores are run by Chinese people too. Yeah. You know what the wholesales are? Yep. Yeah, they're run by Chinese. The Chinese people. They just swing you around here. So on a Saturday, you're not able to like drive really freely through here. It's hard. What? Lots of crowds. Lots of people. Yeah. So this is downtown Kingston, the heart. guy selling CDs, so if you need music, that's what he sells, yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, this is the heart, this is a cart, so people would rent it, so like the person that go to the market, they have heavy loads to move, lots of stuff, they would put it on it and pay money and they would move it for them, take them to the bus park or something. So I imagine everything's like probably more affordable here. Down here, yeah, it's, it's, it's way cheaper. Some persons even leave from um, Spanish Town to come here. Spanish Town has a market that sells these things too. But sometimes people leave to come down here. And then, not this section, we have the market market part. Some of these people, they just come down here because people are walking by. So they sell, but we have a designated market that sells the vegetables and stuff. That those persons coming from the country, so like where we're coming from, it's Gen Sai, from Portland, everywhere. They come in and they come down here to sell. The vendors and stuff, farming. farmers. All right, so, so, so like him, he's moving a goods for this guy. So this guy yeah. hired him to move this, whatever is in the bag. So he's probably taking it to his car or something. Yeah, so he's probably a vendor somewhere, sells stuff somewhere. Ask you show that chat boss. Yeah. Ah, famous. Yeah. This right here is a little car park. So whenever I come down here to shop, I park over here, pay a little bit of money, and then, yeah. This major shopping area in Jamaica. Yeah. Should try to get some, get me some water or something. Yeah. But as I said, you by yourself, you could hop on a bus from anywhere and come down here and walk and go purchase stuff. Yeah. yeah. From time to time, you will see people that are foreigners walking away. Yeah, nobody, nobody, nobody's gonna do anything to them. Nobody. But of course, you're gonna have guys. Everybody's gonna talk to you because you're not from here. So yeah. they're gonna, vendors are gonna try to sell you stuff and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And this guy does like street food in the middle of the area right here. I, I never purchased from them, but people do. You know, they just do. I think he does like chicken necks. Yeah. Okay, see that? These are taxis, they just park in the streets trying to get a load. <laughs> They're not supposed to do it, but they do it. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. So yeah. 
you're in the heart of Kingston. So anybody ever asks you, you ever been to Jamaica? You're like, I've been to the heart of Jamaica. Yeah, not many tourists get to do this. They don't ever come here. Got you, mommy. That right there is a sea mass. It's oh, right below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a bunch of herbs and stuff on there too. These are all shopping areas. The market is back that side. The hospital, that blue building, oh, straight ahead. Hospital. That's the Kingston Public Hospital. Yeah. Go across, man. You're good. Yeah. Yeah, but these, these a lot of wholesales, whole lot of shopping takes place down here saturdays are worse you see how the taxis are in the street like that on saturdays yeah. it's worse this street here worse it could take you a little while to get along this street here yeah it's terrible taxis trucks making deliveries because it's a two-way street so it's it's congested it can be congested at times vegetables and stuff on the carts and stuff yeah yeah that's called bag juice it's a popular oh, thing yeah. it's just juice in a bag yeah i have a friend <laughs> from wisconsin that's what she called it juice in a bag i said no it's called bag juice <laughs> she's like the same thing <laughs> yeah so these guys they just do whatever whatever they want taxi drivers yeah the red plates yeah. And they have some that they're not registered as taxi drivers but they carry passengers. They call them robots, robot taxis. Ta robot taxis. Yeah, that's the name they give them. Yeah, that's what they call them. They're like illegal taxis. Yeah. Yeah, they just walk. That's what you have to look out for them. They don't they don't yeah, they don't care. I get a green light but they don't care. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot like Columbia. It is? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yep. Right here is another bus park. Takes you to the eastern side of the island. Those around there takes you to the western side, basically this eastern side. A lot of times you'll find water running, like it's sewage water. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like you can smell it too. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a couple weeks ago, like the whole area that we just passed through down there, they, they, they actually just finished, like, I think relayed some new pipes and stuff. They laid some new pipes and stuff. The whole down there was like a whole lot of water running. Wow. across, a delivery guy. Yeah. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And 
they're zipping all over. It's very overwhelming when you're yeah. driving because you have to look everywhere. For them, right? And wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna find some I need this light. In Colombia also, in cities it's illegal for two men to ride on a motorcycle together. It is? Yes, because that's how they rob people. Alright, the crime, yeah. So, that's a thing here too. But, it's not robbing. That's how they kill people here. Oh, wow. Yeah, they have a billion rider. So the, 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 the rider plus a pillion. So the guy in the back, he's the shooter. Yeah. Yeah, and the rider just escapes. That's how. It, like, it kind of cooled down right now. But like a couple of months ago, oh, almost every day, you see wow. some murder being committed like that. And is it random? No, they're usually involved. Some, something. They're not... Here in Jamaica, they don't kill strangers. Yeah. It, they, it's... Trust me. The person that died might be innocent, but best believe his family member or friend or something. Somebody was involved. Yeah. Before, yeah. Yeah. So I'm not saying the person that died is always guilty. Yeah. But, but it's, it's like, not random like they just pick anyone. Nah. They're, they're, yeah. Nah. They don't, they don't do that. I don't know the club it happened twice where we'd be in traffic. It's usually when I'm in a taxi. And sometimes the taxis actually are in cahoots with the robbers. Oh. Where you'll be in traffic and somebody will put their gun through your window and tell you, like, give me all of your things. So you have to give them your things. Uh, oh, um, so like that. So that's how they rob people. Right. Oh. So the taxi driver probably sends a text message or something saying, yeah. hey, I have a foreign exactly. here or I have somebody with money here. You need to come in, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Wow. And that's how many. I actually had a, a taxi itself try to rob me. And he, like, left me. Middle and over? Yeah. Yes. And another thing, it's not so much anymore in Colombia, yeah. but used to. Like, when you're walking, you want to make sure you have some money with you in case somebody does try to rob you. You, you want to give, give them it something. To them. Okay, yeah. Because yeah, if yeah. not, they'll stab you. Oh, and wow. Usually in the butt. Damn. Yeah, this is a prison here. It's one of the major prisons in Kingston. Oh. Or even in Jamaica. Like, it's a major prison. So, this is a spot that I was telling you about. I don't know if you want a picture somewhere there or whatever. Oh no, I'm okay. You good? All right. Yeah, because it's a little gray right now. Yeah, it's not even. Yeah. All right, so we'll just go on our way. But I, I need to find. I want to find a vendor, but I'll find somebody else. There are like even shops and stuff. I could pull up Sounds and get good. some. Yeah. And I'm not done yet. I don't know. If <laughs> I'm thirsty. I'm gonna yeah, get some. Yeah, you haven't had water all day. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get some water. Soda. Yeah.
funny. The airport is right there, right? But to get to the airport, you gotta go all the way around and then come back around. Oh, wow. You see the spot that I first showed you, the, the harbor down there? Yeah. The airport is like a straight shot because you can see the planes landing and stuff. Yeah. It's like a straight shot. And I'm like, if this was some other country, they built the bridge right across. Exactly. They yeah. used to have a ferry that goes to a, a community over there that's called Port Royal. Uh -huh. But that was way back. They, they oh, stopped okay. it. But if it, if it was if it was some other country like a first world country they've been built a, a, oh, a, a road across that and charge you a toll or whatever to get over there but jamaicans they lack vision they would rather uh, a foreign country come here and say oh we want to build you a road across to the airport and they'd be like yeah and the country build, builds a road and they own it for like a hundred years and they be collecting the toll and everything oh, yeah. Yeah, because most of our highways, that's that's the deal. Really? The Chinese, there's a French company that builds a highway, and they say, okay, we're gonna own the highway for such and such years, and we'll be collecting all the money from the highway. They wow. dictate the prices, they dictate everything. The government can't say, oh, the price is too high, or the price is too. They they do their own it's shit. Up to them. Wow. Yeah, that's how Jamaica runs. It's so weird. Yep, they don't see for themselves. They could do it as a government, and then like charge whatever money and make money from yeah. it. They don't, they don't, they don't see that. Exactly. I mean, there's a reason why other countries are doing it. Exactly. It's exactly. They make the money. Everyone here that lives here, they're appreciative of the weather right now because it's, it's yeah, yeah, it's not hot. So they're like, yeah. I'm enjoying it as well. Yeah, it's cool. Honest. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool and nice. Yeah. Sometimes I'll be driving in the car whenever the windows are down or whatever, and I'm sweating. It's hot. Actually heading out. We're still in Kingston. We're heading out to the eastern side of Kingston now. East Kingston. Oh, actually, this is the area that I grew up in. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, out here is where I was born and everything. Went to school, like, everything. One of the first schools, well, not the first, but uh, what would you call it? Uh, in America, I think it's middle school. Oh, yeah. It's right there. Pretty much like right here. But we're not going to pass it because we're going to turn here. But it's right there. That's where I first went to. One of my first schools. Yeah, but the... Well, that's not even the first first school because there's another little school that I went to around here. They call it basic school, but I think for you guys, you call it um, preschool. I think. Yeah, preschool. Or yeah. Kindergarten. Yeah, school. yeah, right, right, right. It's right around here. That's so. This is my turf, basically, my area. Yeah. And my high school that I went to is also along this road up there. We're gonna pass it. Yeah. So definitely everything in this area. Yeah, that's all, all, all me. So I don't know if you can see the blue and yellow wall right out there. Probably not. You can see on the left hand side. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the middle school basically. Yeah, that's where I went. Yep. And then right up here, 
I went to the, the what you would call kindergarten. Uh-huh. It was probably right somewhere. Well, hold on. It was this right here. Oh, wow. It was just the house with an old lady. She started a school inside her house. Nice. Yeah, that's where I pretty much went. That's, But it wasn't my first school. Like, there's another school further out. That was actually the first time when I was going to school as a child. And here in Jamaica, we start school very early. I started school when I was two years old. Wow. So it's a thing here in Jamaica. I mean, you do have schools that start like at four year old, probably like like yeah. America and stuff. But when I went in Jamaica, they're like, once you can talk, speak, that you want to use the, the bathroom, the yeah. restroom, they're saying you're old enough to go to school. Nice. <laughs> that's, I like that's, that. yeah. that's how they do it here. I mean, not everyone is appreciated because they, you find out that you are, especially if you get tertiary education and stuff, you'll be like, in your 20s and still going to school like people get tired of going to yeah, school they were like when will this be over you know but yeah that's 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 how it is this this road is actually called mountain view avenue yeah that's what it's called it's located as i said in kingston goes up to a little part of saint andrew but this is a rough part of kingston too yeah yeah at one point, we just pa- passed a, a road right there. At one point, it was one of the most dangerous roads, areas, community in yeah. Jamaica. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, it is. But right now, Montego Bay took over the, the, the crime thingy from Kingston, to be honest. Really? Wow. As a tourist destination, Montego Bay, like, they, yeah. But back in the days, especially when I was going to school and stuff, this area was rough very rough place right here this 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 little road right here it's called Jarrett Lane terrible at one point wow. you don't want to be caught there yep 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 this is exactly the type of car that I have like that one But for the most part right now, this place is, it's cool right now. It's all yeah, right. it looks really good. Yeah, it's, it's, and no, 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 the crime is not, it, it's okay right now, to tell you the truth. It's nice. If you should have a friend that lives somewhere here, you as a foreigner come here, oh my God, you'd enjoy yourself so much. Yeah. They treat you so good, like a queen. <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah, honestly, they treat you like a queen. They cherish you. And nobody can ever do anything to you. Yeah. They'll, they'll cherish you. This section right here too was very dangerous right here. So in Colombia, when I went there like to rescue dogs, Yeah. so some of the Colombians were really happy that I was doing it and some were not so happy. Why, why weren't they happy? Uh, because mainly like the machismo culture where it's like, oh, you're neutered, they'll dogs. Oh, like, you yeah. Know, like... Yeah, I mean, J- Jamaicans probably, I mean, it's not a big thing, like, they really don't care if you do, but they, they would probably take offense, because Jamaicans, especially men, they're like, listen, you're trying to stop life. That's what yeah. they would say, like, let the dogs breed, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, let them have puppies and stuff and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, this was actually my high school. Nice. Yeah. It's huge. Very popular school in Kingston, too. That's the engine. Then they got a community college over here too. It's one of the largest schools too in Kingston. They have a community college over yeah. here that, yeah. And they have a huge library as well. Like it's, it's huge, stretches all the way back.
not to cut you but like so this apartment here this is like a high-end apartment in Jamaica over here okay it was super expensive when it was when it was for sale and stuff so the national stadium is over here we only have one national stadium in Jamaica so yeah but this apartment for this football, is right? yeah for football right and track and field happens over there too because we it's like boom a lot of stuff yeah, yeah. but the apartment there the high -end. so if somebody wanted like an high-end apartment that's that is typically what it looks like yeah yeah but yeah so the Yeah, it's called AC Hotel. 
it's 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 um in the middle of the new kingston area it's mostly for like people that do, does business travels this is where they stay yeah nice place you see this called hamptons at fairway so it's an apartment yeah it's an apartment elevators and stuff and all that stuff this is a one of the finer apartments too. this area is called new kingston it's like uptown so it's it's way different from downtown kingston yeah this is where all the money people <laughs> live yeah, and stuff see, like, all the yeah if, if you live here you have money so most of these apartments do they rented in u.s dollars oh, you'd be yeah. like but it's still gonna be cheaper than in america yeah yeah than a high-end apartment in america it's gonna be cheaper it's um some of them they probably start maybe at like a 1200 probably goes up to maybe 2200 yeah that's that's pretty much where you'll find it that's pretty much where it would go but yeah this is an authorized dealer the mini coupe and all the stuff bmws and yeah so here you can actually get like a a new car to purchase because yeah you have to go to the authorized dealer for, to get like a new, new car, car yeah. what so jamaicans will tell you oh the car is new but it's not new because it's the cars that you guys drive in america for um three years and then once the lease is done oh, they they, here. that's really? that's where all the cars come they go to africa all the third world countries so just in oh. case you're wondering hey whatever happened well, to my what car about, like the other side do they change it the, the the thingy uh for the ones that are being driven it stays the same oh wow yeah it stays the same it stays the same but if they're purchasing the bmws or whatever it 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 will it will be but then bmws they're like european cars too and stuff so they come on this oh, side yeah, exactly. but but you will find american bmws here which a lot of persons side. yeah and a lot of persons buy them because they're a little bit cheaper because they're shipping from close by america yeah. so they're a little bit cheaper so they would they would purchase them bmws hondas a lot of cars so and so a guy would be able to to get like a, um uh what do you call like a, um a newer vehicle for less money yeah. So they would definitely buy them. So you do have a few of them. You do have a few and you have persons that would actually purchase them. Nice. Yeah. Yep. This year is uh oh, it's another hotel, but then they opened a supermarket. But it's a business. Yeah, it's mostly for business. All the hotels are like for business. Mostly for business. If people are even in Jamaica, they want to go to a hotel, they go to the countryside. Because yeah. you have the beaches and stuff. Up here is no beach right here. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So yeah, the supermarket that we passed, this is a hotel for it. It's called Spanish Court Hotel. Uh -huh. Yeah. This is the British Embassy here. Over here. Oh, wow. British High Commission. So if anyone is a British citizen and getting any problems, they just hop over in there. So yeah, this is actually called New Kingston. This is the heartbeat, the financial heartbeat of Kingston. Yeah. And this could be classified as uptown Jamaica. And you do have a lot of so you do have other sections that are uptown uptown too. Because remember I tell you the persons that live on the hill, they're like money. The further up the hill you live, the more money you got. Oh yeah. Yeah, so all those little houses you see out there that's on the hill, those are money people houses. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna do a quick check right here so you can just see real quick. So yeah, you have a lot of banks on this trip here. This is like one of the most popular road in New Kingston. It's called Nutsford Boulevard. Very, very popular. A lot of people know it. Once you're in New Kingston, you say Nutsford Boulevard, they know exactly what you're talking about. When it comes to like high-rise buildings and stuff, these these are like the highest for right now. Yeah, yeah they, they are building a few that's gonna be higher, like apartments and stuff. That's gonna be a little bit higher in other sections, but for right now, these are as high as it gets. I actually used to work on this building here. Oh, really? Yeah, I did. Yep. So yeah, this is New Kingston. Got a couple. Yeah, so you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like sure. more uptown. This is a Porsche dealership. A brand new Porsche over here. Oh, over wow, on that yeah. side. Brand new Porsches. Lots of money. Yeah. Patty. Yeah, juicy patties. So 
this is New Kingston. So persons that work in this district right here, like New Kingston area, there's a little thing that they, they, they're, it's like they're, what do you say? So what they do here, because it's mostly like financial district, it's a more business class. Yeah. These people spend a lot of money on clothes, like putting themselves yeah. together and they're not even making it like. a manager here working somewhere here or whatever like you would make good money yeah you'd make good money so you can't afford to do it but like the regular work especially nowadays where you have a lot of call centers in this area yeah. call center people oh my god it's just here nails and clothes whatever that's what it is wow. and they sometimes can't even afford lunch and then lunch and everything in this area is way expensive oh, yeah. yeah it's super expensive hotel there hotel here we're gonna turn right down here this is a park it's called Emancipation Park nice. yeah and you have a Marriott Courtyard Hotel right there too it's a park people come and jog and do, do all sorts of stuff right over here yeah yeah you know it's a nice little recreational area stuff this is this is it. This um, I think it's a Marriott. Italian yeah, there's an Italian restaurant there. Is it easy? Yeah, I've never been over there though, but yeah, it's very popular too. This is the same place I told you about, National House oh, Trust. Yeah. This is actually the head office, the main building. Oh. Yeah, this is it. time they had a fountain we just opened up they had a fountain in the middle and stuff yeah but it's not maintained anymore so I don't even think yeah the fountain is not on like when people get married and stuff they come and take pictures over here because they have a lawn and the grass yeah. and stuff yeah so yeah That's a hotel. A little bit down further is another hotel. But as you can see, the buildings and stuff is a whole lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Yo, I was a little bit of second water. You, you said, yes, sir. But two crown water, the place. Not the ocean spray, the grape one, the next one. Two grape. Two grape, yeah. Two, two, two. I'm gonna let you try this crown water thing. It's like flavored water. I don't tell you, say, I do water, water, one minute, one. You know, one yeah, you know, two of them. Yeah, one one. You have none really quick, more soft? Yeah. All of my advice, all right. No, no, watch your face. Like, you have one with no. Yeah, yeah, so, where, where you glue there? Yeah, all right, yeah, check it out. If you see two of them, two with less ice, bring it and I give that one. There's flavored water. They have, um, Kind of the dry thing. No, that's that's um seltzer, seltzer. water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, no, but they have like flavored, flavored water. water. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's still like clear though. It's still clear? Mm -hmm. Oh wow. I know this is just food color. This is some coloring yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, I them one day. Alright, bring the water water come. Me take it. like somebody some picture they do a picture or whatever I'm not sure but uh, yeah a whole lot of persons they just come and take pictures and stuff this one is yours okay. mm -hmm. yeah me record thanks here how much for them the total of I give my change yeah 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 six bills yeah man that's six I give man two and have two fifth like yeah respect yeah yeah taste it and see I don't normally drink this though but 
When, when these just came out, a lot of persons, they they, they drink, drank them all, whole, like every day, all day. But, but this flavor here, the grape, it's it's the best tasting one to me. It's very good. Yeah. Nice, nice cold, refreshing. Yep. Should be thought out, thought out now if you wanna. Yeah, if you wanna have it. Do you want some? Yeah, sure. Which kind do you want? Any kind. Give me the uh, your least favorite. Give me your least oh, favorite. No, no, because there's lots of it. Alright, yeah, alright, so give me the barbecue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Time when you like if it's a group, you could pack those little stuff so we never even have to go purchase it. Mm -hmm. And you like bring like a two rolls of napkins, hand towels, mm -hmm. so we have it because we'll be Little out and about. Snacks. Yeah, mm -hmm. Just, you know, we'll, we'll try this for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. you yeah, this Avis, you have Avis card, oh, yeah. Totally, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. This was a um, a Hilton hotel, but it closed down. Yeah, it closed down. What it was. My guy says it's drafting. He's not the only person this year that has it. That has it. Um, well, it's actually called Total, but the little mini mart that they have, oh. the Total, they name all of the mini marts Bonjour. Oh. Yeah, so maybe it's affiliated with France, I don't know. In like Texaco, they call them, they, they call the mini marts a different name. So all the gas stations, they kind of name their, the mart that is inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's actually your national bird. Oh. It's a very small bird. Very, very tiny. I'm gonna let you look at a video of it. Like, it's super tiny. Oh. They're probably like my finger here. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very tiny. It's our national bird. Awesome. Yeah. You, you, like, up in Blue Mountains, you probably see them. But not a lot. I've never been anywhere where I see them a whole lot. But probably there are places where they have a whole lot of them. But from time to time, you see them flying around the place. Nice. Mm -hmm. Jamaica has a whole lot of national this and national that. National food, national dish, national bird, national butterfly. Nice. A whole lot of national whatever. On the red line. They shouldn't be crossing, you know? Yeah, not there. Yeah, they shouldn't. This area right here, the old New Kings area, filled with traffic. One of the worst this this road is actually called Trafalgar Road. And I'm wondering if it's because of the traffic they named it like this. Yeah. I don't know. But it's weird. But listen, the traffic on this street when, when it's rush hour, crazy. Like, when, when I used to work in New Kingston, I never take a taxi because I used to go to a, part, a section they call Halfway Tree to get like a bus or whatever to go home. Uh -huh. I never take a taxi. It makes no sense. Yeah, because you walk there. Listen, there. People, walk, people just walk. It makes no sense. No sense at all. Never take a taxi unless it's raining. And a lot of persons in New Kingston that take public transportation, 
They never take a taxi. It makes no sense. But on a regular day, from here to where the where we would have actually walked to drive, it would be like six minutes or less. Wow. It's super close. But when <laughs> whenever you're trying to um do it during the week, rush hour, it can even take you 40 minutes. Do you like this fan water thing? Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Nice and cool too. Mm -hmm. There, those are apartment buildings too. Yeah, high-end apartment. That's the cost. That one though had a little bit of controversy surrounding it because it was supposed it was supposedly built by the um the same housing agency place that I was telling you about. I remember I told you the amount that you're able to get, but yeah. those apartments co cost um I think the starting price was thirty something million dollars. So the same agency that's giving out the money for you to buy a house is building an a, 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 a apartment building that is 30 something million. Yeah. So it was it was a whole controversy around it and the government tried to justify it by saying, oh, remember we take taxes from everyone. And remember, he was saying a whole lot of stuff. Like he was like, we, we, we take the money from rich people too. So it's, as the agency, we're gonna build some houses for rich people. Uh, I didn't realize rich people don't need that shit. Exactly, right? Like, trust me. It was a whole bunch of stuff, and then one day it rained and it flooded. A whole bunch of stuff happened with it. Wow. Rained and flooded people in the parking, the garage. Their cars got damaged, a whole bunch of stuff. The water was like way up, and a wow. whole bunch of things. And one day the rain, like it set up, it was raining, but it wasn't raining hard. And they put a whole lot of sandbags and a whole bunch of stuff they were doing. But it never rained that bad. So people were concerned and was like, hey, why you guys did this? Blah blah blah. They were like, no, we're taking precautions. It's not nothing is not gonna happen. Blah 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 blah. A couple weeks after, oh it really gosh. rained. A couple weeks after it rained so bad and caused the flooding that everyone said that they were trying to prevent. So they got caught in their lies. Wow. <laughs> people were like, yeah. Over here has like the best ice cream in Jamaica. Oh yeah? Yeah. You eat ice cream? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh Sorry. definitely. I eat everything really. Okay, good. Yeah. The best ice cream in Jamaica. It's called Devon House. It's actually Devon's house. So I guess it was a guy whose name was Devon and he owned the property. So I guess it was named after him. I'm not sure. I'm just thinking yeah, that just... must have been it. Yeah. Probably can Google it sometime and figure it out. But yeah. And that was it. Wow. So it's like a national, it's like an attraction now. Yeah, but they sell, uh, and they make um. There's a there's a part over there too that sells the curry curry goat patty, the same patty that we had, the beef patty, whatever. Uh huh. They they make a curry goat one. Oh wow. Yeah, it's way expensive though. More than the, it's not the price for the regular one uh -huh. it's way expensive and it's a little smaller than the regular one the too regular, yeah, so yeah but a lot of persons they, they buy it they say they love it and all that stuff i've only had it once i mean it's good but i don't know if it's overwhelming I mean, a lot of persons will disagree with me though you have yeah. persons that tell me that it's the die for the bad, yeah. yeah so a lot of persons they they tell you it's this is it but for me it's, it doesn't blow me away Traffic up here. 
here. But well, we're actually heading, we're making our way now. Back to the mountains, right? Yeah, that's where we're, we're going right now. Nice. Yeah. Okay. You see how we were in um, downtown Kingston? There's another section right down there too. It's called Halfway Tree. That is, that is also like the heartbeat of Uptown. So even though we were in, in New Kingston, yeah. Halfway Tree is like the central point of Uptown itself. So anywhere up here that you need to get to, you once you're in Halfway Tree, you can get there. So yeah, so you'd make your way to Halfway Tree to get there. The Girl Guides Association, is that like Girl Scouts? Or yeah, okay. yeah, pretty much, yeah. Because we have all those stuff too. We have um, 4-H clubs, we have all of them, all of them things. Yeah. Do they sell cookies? Mm -hmm. Like you're doing US? Yeah. They probably have other fundraisers. Because yeah. here's the thing it's not like Jamaicans are big cookie eaters. Yeah. Yeah, so. But they do other stuff to raise money. Because the cookies are to raise money, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They do other stuff here to raise money. But I don't know. They might even sell cookies. I don't know. Probably. Yeah, girls are like famous for the cookies. Either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I found out recently that they're different. They have different types of cookies depending on where you are in the United States. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I always thought it was always the same ones. Yeah. But no. Hmm. I never knew that. This is also an apartment complex. But as I said. Waterloo views. Yeah. Money people. Up here, really, you have to have money to live anywhere. Because you have a whole lot of um, embassies and stuff. On this stretch of road right here. Yeah. Yeah. So if, it, if there's a house, you have to have money. If you have a house, if you live in a house or apartment building, up here is like uptown, uptown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember I tell you like like that's what's happening in Jamaica right now. It's crazy. Yeah. Like you see a building over there, building like you can look, you see a whole lot of cranes around. A lot of buildings are going up. Real estate is booming in Jamaica right now. And even those places that are not too posh, they're expensive oh, because yeah. of the location. Mm -hmm. I don't even think we have an Italian embassy here. I I'm thinking, I'm not even sure. I don't think so. The American Embassy though is that direction. Yeah. It's more to that side here. Yeah. If we were taking the other way to St. Andrew, it we would have passed. We, that is crazy out there. People drawing long lines out there, stand in the sun just to get inside. Yeah. Like you have a yeah, for, to apply to get their visa. But um before the pandemic, like now after the pandemic there. There's not much interviews right now. Yeah. Because of yeah, but they kind of shut the interviews down. But um, before the pandemic, oh my god, long lines as early as the morning is. Wow. Rain or sun, they're out there. Waiting. Yeah, just to get go inside. I mean, you do have to have an appointment. You can't just get up and go. But yeah, you know? exactly. But yeah. still, you gotta wait for everybody else. Yeah. It's like your target. It's called Fontana oh, Pharmacy. Yeah. It's like your target and everything. You got Starbucks over there. A whole bunch of stuff. Wendy's. But over there, the, the pharmacy itself, it's definitely like Target in America. I'm 
kind of looking at the weather though. I think, I think the um the weather. In, I think Portland, the weather is good, based nice. on what I'm seeing. Maybe on our way there, especially when we get to um Saint Mary. Especially when we get to Saint Mary, I think it's gonna be raining. So I, I see a lot of these same donuts. Are they like a famous place around here? He, it's it's yeah. like one of the famous in Jamaica. Yeah, what kind of donuts? They're called Prestige So They have. They, ju they just have the jelly in the middle, oh. but it's not like um, Krispy Kreme or where have the, the icing on top or whatever. Yeah. These are just this has the jelly in the middle. Oh, I see. These used to be awesome. They're, they're still my favorites. Yeah. They used to be so good, but kind of falling off a little bit right now. Yeah, because even like Krispy, Krispy Kreme came here the other day and they, it's a, it was a big thing. I People were in lines. People joined a long line from way in the morning because they were giving away, sorry, they were giving away something. They were giving away something for like the first couple of, um, first couple of uh, consumers. People were in the, people, you, you ever see like the Black Friday thing in America? Oh yeah. Krispy Kreme the other day would be kind of like a mini Black Friday thing. Wow. People were lined up to get, to get Krispy Kreme donuts. Wow. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, they're good. Honestly, they're they're good. They're good, but me knowing them, they, they were better. And a lot of persons who used to love these end up loving some other type of donuts because they said these ones they fell off. Oh, really? Yeah, the dough is not that. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you want some, I can buy us a box. If we can, yeah. If we get up further, we can see. I think it's. The dearest it should sell for is probably 700. The, 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 yeah, that should be the most expensive it should be for. But we probably find somebody else up there. Yeah. No, we love the others. So like a haggle in lifestyle. Like you're expecting to haggle prices. Like oh, that. when you go, so you see when you're ready to get the, like you want to get the craft. It's called like you're trying to negotiate. Yeah. You do that on certain things. With him selling donuts or with this like water and stuff, yeah, you, you just yeah. yeah, right. But with like, even if you're gonna buy shoes or certain things, once it costs a certain amount of money, yeah, you can try to even cars. Like somebody's reselling their car, you can yeah, do it. Negotiate. Yeah, you can you can you can do it. But even like the donut guy, some of them they probably will. Especially if they want to make the sale yeah. and they know that if they give you for like $50 less or $100 They probably know they're not really losing too much yeah. Or if they have it and they just don't want to keep it, they're not losing so they still try to take a thing and give you a, You know what I mean? Yeah, like for instance, because a lot of people in like Medellin or sell them food stuff mm -hmm. They live like in the mountains so they take a long way to come down into the city They don't want to bring it back exactly. up Exactly, right. so at the end of the day, that's when you buy your food and stuff like that Sometimes to help, like if you downtown Kingston, that happens. You have some persons they deliberately go in the evening time on yeah. Saturday because yeah. the vendors, as I tell you, came in from the countryside. And they don't want to go back with their load. Yeah. So it's a different price when you go in the evening time because they want to go home. they would pay for these to else, work yeah. what they pay for one person in America like the, the, the what, what it would cost them hiring one person in America they could get five here yep. and no Same health insurance in and stuff like yeah. that too. Mm -hmm. no insurance and no a lot of things yep This 
is a upscale apartment too. It's called Oakland. Right here? Yeah. It was one of the first uptown apartments. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Subway. Do you know Subway has more um, locations than any other food place? Across the world? The world? Yep. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe if you drive through the smallest little towns that don't even have like gas stations, so there would be a Subway. Subway. <laughs> wow. So if we had taken the road that I showed you earlier out there, uh -huh. right here is where we would have come out, right in front oh. of the apartment. Yeah, we would have came out right there. And if at any point you want to use that to rest, you know, whatever, you can let me know, all right? Sounds good. I'm good, though. Okay. Right. You see it? Mm -hmm. well, There's blue skies up at the end. That's pretty much where we're headed over this mountain. Nice. Yeah, so we, we should be good when we get there. But as I said, probably on our way, there's a little bit of rain and stuff. There's a gas station. So the gas is 234. I think where we just purchased gas was like 211 or something, I'm not sure. Yeah, but they said uptown, so you get uptown prices. Can be way more. Like even in Montego Bay, I think I saw like 250 something. One gas station, yeah. I don't know, this is kind of weird. I mean, this this road has traffic usually, but the timing right now, it shouldn't be any. Yeah, it shouldn't be any traffic, so I'm not too sure what happened. But it's weird in Jamaica, like, you get rainfall and like, it's traffic. So yeah, this, this is exactly my car, but it's just that it's white. Oh. Yeah, but it's the same, you know, the same thing. Yes. Yeah. If I was ever, if, if if I was to actually, if I had driven, trust me, we would have. I know we would have have to have the, uh, filled up at the time from. from back there, yeah. yeah. I had from, the same car in Colombia. Wow. Yeah. I had to do that. Did it? Did it use a lot of gas? Yeah. Yeah. Because it, 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 it has turbo. So. This is another building, probably another apartment or a shopping. Oh, it's a, there is it. So it says BPO oh, yeah. space available. So it's, it's going to be a call center. Yeah, that's how it's going to look when it's done. Yeah, it's going to be a call center when it's done. Doctors, people with serious money, high end lawyers, people with serious money lives up on these hills up here. There's different sections to the hills, even though it's just one mountain, but different sections got different names. So, yeah, although it's just one mountain, but they find this part, they call it that. The part. But yeah, serious, serious, serious money lives up here. Retired prime ministers and all of those people. Up here. Yeah. You have a section called Stony Hill. You have a section called Norbrook. You have Meadowbrook, Queens Hill. Different different sections. So anytime you come back and I tell you, yeah, this is where I'm living now, you know I got it. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yep.
are the gas prices in um, Colombia high too? Mm -hmm. yeah. More more expensive than in the US? I what do they say? Gallon or, or liters? Liters per liter, yeah. Uh -huh. I would say maybe a little bit more expensive, but maybe comparable right now. Oh, okay. But it's just like for the cost of living, it's very expensive. Colombians, of course, because they're making. Right, 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 right. Totally understand. Yes, yeah, so it's very expensive for yeah. Colombians. Probably pretty normal for Americans. Oh, oh, okay. Like if you were an American in Colombia, you'd be like, oh, this is a normal gas price. But oh, for oh, Colombians, yeah. it's Listen, Jamaica, gas price is out of control. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm telling you, our prices were high before even you guys got, got to that point. Because really? yeah, because before the before the regular prices were like two dollars something, right? Yeah. Like two dollar yep. thirty cents. 15. Yeah, they're about right, right. That was the price, and it was still high in Jamaica. It was crazy. Wow. It's crazy. Yeah, when as I tell you, whenever the people in America started because remember when the war and everything it just boom started to go up go up, yeah. go up and people were crying and saying stuff we were like yeah we've been paying this You're like, well, yeah, welcome we've to been, our life. yeah we've been paying because we buying liters so yeah if this was per gallon trust me we would be good Happy. Oh, yeah, yeah but what? we would be we would, every day we'll fill our tanks <laughs> St. Andrew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You go here, get your driver's license, you go register your car, you pay if you have a gun permit, you go pay it over there, what whatever tax, whatever you that's where you go. This is like um a DMV. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. This is top top. Yeah. And each parish or so has one of these. You have one in downtown Kingston too. Right where we were driving around down there close to the, the waterfront, uh -huh. you have one down there, that section. This school right here, it's called Immaculate Conception for Girls. It's really? like an all-girls school, yeah. And it's right, right up here somewhere, right up here. The police station is right there. Oh, we, we passed the, the high school, but it was. Uh, it was over let there. me see. Yeah, I think we, we passed it. Yeah, so it's. The, where the tax office is, uh -huh. I think it's right across over From there. Okay. Yeah, 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 because yeah, I don't think it's way up here. Yeah, hold on, let me look. Good, it's kind of tucked away in a corner, but I'm thinking it's yeah, it's across from the tax office. It's it's one of the um, what do you call it? Here they call them traditional high schools, so uh -huh. it's one of the schools that somebody would uh, a parent a parent would love their child to get into and here in jamaica the high school system is different you know in america it's like school districts it's where you live you go to school right yeah it's different in jamaica it's like better grades get you into better schools oh, that's cool. yeah so you could live anywhere and go to a school anywhere i mean they they don't really like 
so you're not going to be living where Miss Jen is and come to a school here, exactly, you know? Yeah, yeah but though. each area, I mean, Kingston and a few other parishes has like awesome schools, like schools that are really good. Uh-huh. But apart from those places, like, like let's say you're from where Miss Jen is, all the areas, they have um, their top school. So when they do their exams and whatever to go to high school, everyone is hoping to pass for the top school for that area. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's how it is. Do you feel the difference up here? Oh, yeah. You're actually, yeah, we're heading up into the hill. So, yeah. To the mountains we go. Mm-hmm. We're going all over those. Here is called Constant Spring, and around here is called Norbrook. That's a super rich community up on the hill. Oh yeah, even Yeah, a super rich community. But if you like somebody that works remotely, they could actually like American. Uh huh. They could afford to pay rent in one of the houses. Yeah. yeah uh huh. Do people rent them out mostly or is it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, You have houses for rent up there. It's just that it's, it ex, it's expensive and it's in the US and stuff. So a regular middle class person would not try to get a house up there. Yeah. Yeah. So they'd probably try to find somewhere in Kingston or Portmore. That's where they would go. Yeah. Because even though I told you the exchange rate for the dollar, it fluctuates. Yeah, yeah exactly. So this minute it could, yeah. So, and then they'd be getting paid in Jamaican money. So, let's say they're getting, just for example, they're getting a hundred thousand Jamaican, and their rent at the time works out to be thirty thousand based on the U.S. exchange rate. If the if the Jamaican dollar slides and gets weaker then the, they're gonna have to find more Jamaican money to pay yeah. the rent. So a regular worker would not try to do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're, they're not gonna try to get one of them places. All right, so this section here that we're about to go up, it's like each parish has one of them, like we had Mount Russell in St. Catherine, uh-huh. Each parish has one of them hills thingy like this. This area right here is not really too bad, but sometimes the buses and the taxis they drive crazy coming down, going up. They're crazy with the driving, so you just gotta look out. But there's a section called the junction that would probably be equivalent to the Mount Rasa. Oh, but okay. Mount Rasa is more dangerous, more stuff happens there. Okay, yeah, because trucks aren't allowed through the junction here. So even when trucks are trying to get to Portland where we're going, they can't drive through right, there. They have to go to Ocheria's side and come across. Oh. Yeah, that's that's what they, they have to do that and come across. But so so crazy stuff will happen, but not as much as on that side. And in another parish, you have uh, another mountainous area called Spur Tree Hill. That's somewhere too where you have to take precautions as well. So, you know, it's, it's just kind of crazy places that you go to. It's kind of crazy. But each parish has something. Yeah. One of them thingies, yeah. So, it's all the signs that said plywood for rent. Rental. You're seeing it everywhere, right? Yeah. So, like, how do you rent plywood? It's, it's plyboard. Oh. So, so, they mostly use it for construction. Okay. So, when they're doing, like the decking they're doing the roof for the houses a lot of the roofs they they call it decking where they use cement and make it instead of using like the board and the oh okay but they use the boards to stand on they use it to frame up the thing and then they pour the cement on top of it and then when it's dried they keep it for three weeks when it's dried they pull it down pull down back the board yeah so that's a business that that person has renting them a lot of persons do it when they're doing construction, especially like um, regular people. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, big construction company, they don't do that. They have um, metal that they they 
put together and stuff, yeah. And pour the concrete, but they don't use a flyboard. They actually use metal, metal sheetings. So yeah. Yeah, they, they, but not a lot because drywall, we rarely use drywall. You see, the uh, commercial buildings use drywall. They use yeah. them as part, partitions. So all like the call centers and the offices with the banks and all the places, they would use the drywall. So that's when they, because the stucco is the thing you put on the drywall, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. So they, they don't necessarily use like, that. That's kind of stucco outside there too, I believe. It's, I'm not sure. It's, it's, it's my... cement. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, it's cement. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Because it, why? Because the, as I said, the stucco would be perfect for the for the drywall, but because we use blocks and stuff, so the cement is what they used to put over it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So all these stone walls you see in these walls here, they're very old. They were supposedly wow. built by, I think, probably slaves or so. Wow. Yeah, they're they're super old. And guess what? They're very strong. They did a they, good they, job. Yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Makes you think that probably we need to go back to this because they're they've been working, there forever. Yeah. yeah. And most of them no maintenance. Nobody ever did anything to them after they were built. Wow. up here from inside the home, from from down in the city Telling people they sell the authentic thing. When I go there, the only thing I get is um coconut flavor. Please stop. They supposed to have like a colored thingy, a green like one, red, but yeah. yeah, they don't. This, what they're doing, this road work here. The biggest scam in Jamaica. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Because the amount of work that what they're doing now, what they're doing now doesn't make sense. It, it, it's not gonna last. Oh, yes. oh. They're not putting enough asphalt there and whatever. And within a couple of weeks, it's gone. Wow. Whether the rain or whatever. So then the government has to pay them to do it again. Yeah. But then it's probably the government's friend that is doing it. Wow. Yeah, this is the biggest scam. Because if they do it, they should give some type of warranty on it. But they don't. You just get messed up, and they pay them again to do it. Wow. Yeah, it makes no sense. You Job the, security. Yeah, you see the fog and everything. Yes, yeah. I love fog. Yeah, you remember? There's something like creepy about it, and I love it. <laughs> You see the place I showed you that Maniga told you Maniga, it's like the coldest. Yeah. You, you see, all right. So the thing is though, when you're on the highway, it's dangerous. 
Yeah, but when you look over, you can see moving down in the valleys. It's wow, crazy. That's so cool. Yeah, it's crazy. That's a, probably the only thing on the highway. <laughs> it's the only thing. So remember, I was telling you like every time I'm going, it's always raining and yeah. But it looked like the rain stopped. But yeah, this would would have been the rain that we every time I'm going. Wow, this this weather is nice. So this is like a little town area too, up here. weather is awesome this and, is amazing yeah yeah and then I'm telling you I'm looking at it and really it doesn't look like there's any probably the weather in Portland is great where every time to get to Portland going through here always oh, this in St. Mary there's a botanical garden oh nice yeah there's an area uh -huh. uh, it's it's okay maybe like maybe next time when you come here maybe we could go see it maybe because yes. it's well you love plants so i guess yes. it would be good for you I love yeah it. it has a river but it's a very small river. Not, not anything for you to like go dive yeah. in well so darlene loves plants and so does her daughter oh yeah so well, okay well well yeah. of course yeah it's a botanical guy i haven't been over there though i really don't know Oh, he's sure? Yeah. So you, you, you ever, like, what about um, football, soccer? Because Italy, Italy has a good, yeah, very, Italy, very and, big, yeah. and they have a good, they, their league is good. It's yep. something that I used to watch a lot. Syria A? Yeah, I used to watch it. And, and, and um, their national team is really, really, really good. Yeah, people are very, very proud of it. Yeah, yeah. so, but do you follow them? Like, uh, not so much anymore, I used to. Oh, you used to? Okay. Yeah, I used to a lot. Um, okay. Okay, and okay. My ex, because he's Colombian, loves football as well. Yeah, Colombia has so. a strong... South America overall, the football thingy down there, it's, it's strong. It's very, very strong. Very, yeah. Colombia had a really good player, Carlos Valderrama. Yeah, he's yeah. He's really a colored here guy. Yeah. Exactly, yep. Yep. So, yep. I want to, though. I actually need a new... Italian football jersey. Jersey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's funny because I don't have any Steelers jerseys or anything like that, but I would have football jerseys. Like, oh. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> That's because you're not American. Yeah. You're not born there. Exactly. Yeah, for real. And when I tell people I live in Pittsburgh, they're like, oh, go Steelers. I'm like, yay. Go yeah. Steelers. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And I'm like, sure. Yep. And everybody's yep. like, oh, you're not really, you don't yeah, believe because, black and gold is what they because, say. Yeah, because like, they're don't. passionate. And the, um, the hockey team, what is, what are the they penguins, called? Yeah. yeah, they're passionate about it. But, and I totally understand because there's nothing else to be passionate about. Yeah, exactly. It's That's all they so got. I totally, I totally get it. That's all I, they have. Yeah, totally get it. So you see we're back to like almost the same type of like as in St. Anne. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, the so the country areas are like almost the same thing. You can expect the same thing. Just as some of them different farming um foods, they, they farm different foods and um they the the weather is kind of different. But as I said, this side, St. Mary, Portland, the weather is way better. Yeah. Yep. They get way more rainfall here. That's why all the vegetation yeah. is so black. Yep, yep, a lot of rainfall here. As I said, from here to me, oh, rainfall's every day here. Yeah. Like every day, every day. Well, it's not really every day because I've been here and no rain. Yeah. yeah. So if we see him, especially Skinny Dog, because there's one piece of jiggle left. Are you still hungry? Right no, now? you can, you can. You I can give it to him? Okay. Yeah. I'll let you give it to him because thank you, yes. Since you actually never even got to help the dog yesterday. Yeah, yeah that was very yeah. sad for me. Yeah. A lot of internal debate. Yeah. Uh, don't worry too much about it. Yeah. But I usually, and maybe if we do go to a store tonight, but when I travel, I usually do buy a bag of dog food. 
All right. And I give it to dogs. Okay. And that's no problem. usually what I do. <laughs> no problem. But so, you, I mean, the dogs here, because they do sell dog foods here, but exactly. they don't necessarily eat dog, dog food, food, dog yeah. food. Like, you do have. Because people Cause they're that. hungry, yeah. Yeah, right, right. You see, like, the chicken you give them or yeah. regular food that we would eat, that's what they so would that's love. That's what they want. Yeah. Of course, that's what my dogs would love, too. But, yeah? <laughs> oh my god, yeah, but they eat dog food because it's healthier for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, I feel like if an animal is hungry, it's going to eat. You know I mean? Right, and right, right. Dog Definitely. food is better because of nutri nutrition. Yeah, it's, balanced. it's pretty much made so, for them. Yeah, it's. I mean, proteins such as like chicken and stuff like that is really good for dogs. You know what I mean? It'll right, give right. them enough like calor caloric energy. Right. Um, but like when people give them bread and stuff like that, that's giving them empty calories. So they're wow. not really getting any energy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah right. That's right, why right. I usually do choose to do dog, dog food. Dog food is make sure it's yeah. nutrients. It's and, back yeah, with nutrients. It's balanced. And right. Not only that, but it's shelf stable so I can keep it in the car. And oh, drive yeah, 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 yeah. Give it, give it to them. Pull them yeah. on, on the road when I see dogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> And then guess what? If you have if you have uh, your license from America, it's easy because yeah. so they, they will degree, accept it. Yeah, but it's interesting because my degree is very specialized. Right. So I guess I can look up the laws. To does see. it does it does it cover it? Like does it come under it any at all? Like veterinary? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 absolutely. I'm telling you, you're good. This is Jamaica. You're all right. All, all types of things. Listen, this is Jamaica, you're okay. Yeah. I'm telling you, they're they're not gonna stress you too much about it. They're more interested in um oh so there's a little fee that you should pay. That's what they're more interested in. Yeah, yeah. You'd be like, yeah, how I much is it? I think it would be like more non for profit. Yeah. I like I don't think I would charge people. For it, right? Yeah, you, you should be you'd be good, you'd be good. You'd be good. Like for like basic things I think I could probably create a program for like local Jamaicans for local right. only where right. it's yeah. like for your dogs I will provide dewormant and vaccination. Right, right. And like discounts on certain like procedures. Right. Um, but I would probably say you would only get the discounts on those procedures if you spay or neuter your dog. Uh, so that would be the incentive. Right, I did this right, in right. Columbia. And right. it worked really well. I actually in this one little town there was barely any stray dogs. They were just oh. people's pets and they lived longer, they were healthier. And so basically, they would get discounts on different surgeries and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like if their animal got sick or whatever, I'd give them a discount if they got their animal spayed or neutered. But right. that would be a free service. I would spay or neuter their pet for free. Right, right, so, right. So, but if they didn't have, you know, yeah. choose to take that incentive, then I would have to charge them. There's the a river. Reason. River. Oh, yeah. Sure. But it's... You it's, can tell it rains. Yeah, it's right, right. So yeah, that, that could happen because don't get me wrong, you know, you have a lot of vets here, you know, and then a lot of persons take their dogs to the vets. Uh, okay. Oh, but right, you do have a lot, right? And you have persons, you have persons that breed dogs as well. You have a whole lot. It's, it's, a whole, it's just that the, the culture, it's, it's, it's not really focused on that, like as it is in US or yeah, but you do have a lot, okay. a, a, a whole lot. So you, 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 if you come here to do what you want to do, 
it's not like you're gonna be feeling out of place. Okay, what that's you, good. You would you would actually find so once you do your research and stuff, and you you, you would actually find a community like a virtual community like you know where to go to who to call yeah. what like and you'd probably be even surprised to know how big it is but yeah you do have a lot of um you do have a lot of a lot that's of that that's going on yeah a whole lot so i definitely want to do more work in Colombia because i obviously wasn't planning to come back just yet right 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 when the pandemic today, had happened right. i had to Right, right, um, right. Because even when my ex husband and I split up, I still stayed in Colombia. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I still stayed in Colombia.
probably be the region I'd want to live in. Hmm? What do you say? This would probably be the region I would want to live in. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, um, because you know what she tells you, like, they get a lot of foreigners and stuff, Germans, whatever. Like, they always choose the country. Yeah. Areas. Yeah. Because it's a lot cooler. Yeah. Uh-huh. The air, everything is nicer. Everything is nicer. This happens a lot coming up here. This happens a lot, trust yeah. me. That yes. guy's nice to be cleared up. Uh, yeah, they're, they're used to this. They're used to this. Every, uh, so when my, like, a lot of times I drive come up here and that's what's happening. There's a whole lot of traffic from way down, way from where yeah. we came up, way down the road, a whole lot of traffic, a whole bunch of time. To it so he's just you know you know he has a chainsaw so he's like well prepared probably happened quite a number of times oh yeah he's like yeah i got this yep because only imagine if he wasn't trying to cut this up and stuff there'd be traffic oh you yeah know, none of the drivers we don't have chainsaws or whatever so exactly, yeah. community members has to come out and do it Not to drive in the water. So he's 
coming over, you should just slow down. Yeah, Wait. Exactly. like a little town area called Anata Bay. Small little town, narrow road and everything. Goats. Yep.
the Young Botanical Garden. The, uh, the entrance is somewhere around here. Yeah, I think it's probably here, I think you enter. I think, I'm not sure. Or maybe over here, I'm not sure. But this is the whole area. So you would, yeah, that's the area. Wherever the entrance is, you would go in it. Then you can go around it. Castleton in St. Mary. in a pot. Really? Yeah, the uh, crab that was going to come up. Probably should have let you try it.
started out in the country areas, a whole lot of people are stuck to the hillside. check it out and trust me like this little road right here a lot of times I'm driving even at night time and stuff you always see dogs just walking around sniffing about and yeah. stuff they, they definitely find it I'll be like oh damn and who's so oh, checking out their window <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna get different pieces now no something I'm gonna let you try yeah. it's it's as they say it's a plum but it's called June plum I don't know it usually bears in the summertime so I don't know maybe that's why I got the name June plum because June is in the summer yeah. I'm not sure why though but it's it has different name in I think other Caribbean countries other places it got different name I think St. Vincent and the Grenadines they call it um golden apples they got different names, different places. But it's good, and the juice is good. So I was like, I'm throwing KFC out the window for stray dogs. Which <laughs> 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 is crazy. <laughs> Let it be known. <laughs>
Colombia when I'd go around. I would get like, you know, the Vienna sausages? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would go get like a lot of deworming medication. Yeah. And Vienna sausages and I'd put the medication in the sausages and feed it to dogs. Oh. To help deworm them because if they have intestinal parasites, no matter how much food they're eating, right. the parasites are eating their food. So right, 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 right. It makes it so much harder for dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was saying like this is the comparison to like Mount Russell, uh -huh. the same, the road, it kind of almost yeah. like the, the, but the thing is that uh, no trucks are allowed on, on this side, track. yeah, <laughs> yeah, no trucks, sometimes you do have persons, they just do it, yeah. but they're not allowed to drive through here, I think I hear a truck, I heard a horn, This is not even a big picture. Like these are okay, but like okay. the trailers, like the semis. Like a certain weight. I don't know. This section was super terrible. It was bad. The road was awful. come over but yeah, she, she's crazy yeah. she's looking at me I'm over my side like what do you yeah. want me to do you're coming over <laughs> that woman is mad <laughs>
street too. Oh, I see. Or workers itself. They they bring inmates in a truck. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's nothing nice like that. <laughs> AC and everything. No, no, no. Gotta be in a truck, a big truck. It shuts up like a cage. Wow. And you be like all over the place in the truck. Wow. Yeah, no no sitting down in uh you just got benches in the truck and everything. No AC, no nothing. out of the bad parts though. Almost. Way better roads right up ahead. Yeah, way, way better. I mean, when we get into Portland too, we still have a little bit of mountains and stuff, but the road itself is way better. Markings and all that stuff, not like this one. Get out of top it should be a little bit more brighter because because we're between the hills right now and then plus it's overcast so it's a bit cloudy so that's why it's yeah, kind of darker, darker but yeah. we're pretty much gonna get out to this area so it should be although it, it gets darker here first because this is the eastern end yeah so yeah but what time is it it is 4 20. yeah Chicken grits all over my hands. <laughs> 
Trust me, he's sniffing away. Believe me, Lisa, he's gonna find it. These are Jamaican dogs. They're gonna find it. Parish of St. Mary, but Portland is almost like just up ahead. St. Mary is known for bananas. Oh, really? Yeah, bananas. Like, that's their main thing here in St. Mary. Yeah, I wonder if like, bananas are taste different. Probably, yeah, they have different types. Uh, my the, the guy, I, I really need to get him. The guy, like, types because they there are easy. Yeah, yeah. There's all banana trees over there for export and all that stuff. But they have different different types like that guy he couldn't tell you about different types. Yeah. 
see how they build different uh, like huge things on top. It's the same thing in Colombia. Yep. <laughs> they give them little houses. Yeah. Sometimes the cops are around here just doing spot checks or whatever. Sometimes a lot of times. Sky, trust me, it's even more breathtaking. I'm telling you. Yeah. And we're on the coastline. This is a popular little town right here. Popular small town. Here everything happens for them. That's a police station. The police stations usually have this color. All of them. Yeah. Whenever I take, like whenever I'm, like I come to Portland, take the bus or whatever. Uh -huh. If it's late, I always have to try to get to here. Because when you get to here, no matter what time, you always can get a taxi back into Kingston. Oh. Yeah. So wherever you are, like in Portland or wherever, you always try to get to an Bay. Uh -huh. yeah, always taxis. Late at night, they be on the side saying, "Oh, half a tree, that's Kingston," <laughs> screaming out the name and stuff. Funny enough, like almost all of these little towns on this side, pretty much the same thing. Not today, even when you get into Portland, it's almost the same thing. You're gonna see almost the same thing.
so the thing to where we're going it's in portland it's i think after we get to a place called buff bay then we probably make a turn off so it's not like we're going deep into portland we're not going that far yeah oh, okay yeah 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 Here, right by the sign, um, or are you good? No, that's okay. Okay, Thank all right. Know. I just yeah. feel a little sweaty. I'm all over it. Yeah. Okay, okay, <laughs> all right. Germans visit Portland too.
it's so different in the U.S. as dogs. My friend Catherine, she's like my best friend, messaged me, and she got this dog, and like he kind of grew up with us. Like she got him in college, right. and she like messaged me, and she goes, "Troy's getting put to sleep tomorrow because he has cancer." Like the dog, like you guys had him for a while, no? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, wow. Sorry to hear that. Oh, that's okay. I haven't seen the dog on in like four or five years. Oh. Yeah. It's her dog, and then, but it moved to her parents' house. Yeah, yeah. Her parents have a lot of money. A lot of money. So they could afford anything for the dog. <laughs> So you notice the houses here are, not sure if you noticed, but they have like burglar bars. Yeah, yeah. That's what Miss Jen was saying yesterday. She was like, they, she had burglar bars on the house up top. But, <coughs> sorry, the reason why she had to put it because they were living overseas and uh, nobody was ever there. So yeah. it's, she was saying like, which I totally understand. Yeah. It's not like there's anything happening, but because there's nobody no one is ever there you never know right yeah. so somebody would probably notice probably not even somebody from the area just a passerby or something will notice that oh it looks like there's no one ever no one is ever here and they would try so they, that's why they did it but she was like oh we just did it because we were never here yeah, yeah but sense. but it's a thing in jamaica that, do they have them in oh, yes. Colombia? Oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah. It's all apartment complexes. Right, right, right. And um, the, all of the apartment complexes have security. Oh, right. Like you got a lobby and stuff? Yep. Okay. Not always. Some of them are like buildings, and then there's like an entrance where there's the security like, bars. Oh, And there's okay. like no lobby, but like you have to. Right, like, right, entrance. You right. Could, if you're visiting your friends, you, you have, have to, to come. say, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey,
hotel that we talked to earlier. He's who we can call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. In 300 meters, turn right. Right, so we're, we should be on Nelson Street. Turn around, come find Nelson Street. Straight up. Eh? Uh, I mean, Nelson Street, Nelda. Nelson Street, Nelson Street. I forgot the yuca what exactly it is. Yeah. I know because when I'm in Miami I see the name. They they have they title it the two names. Buff Bay, so that's okay. where we were. That's why we I try to stop. This is roughly 10 to 15 minutes away. Oh, so that's cool. Yes, family. Yeah, man. All right, so me I try to find the place. So, so me just turn in a Buff Bay. I'm gonna try to plug it on the GPS. It tell me to turn on the taxi or the right way. That turn right, me yeah, I come man. from King straight up the road. How far up? Because I done the only way up already, you know. I'm just going to pull over. Um, this is a line. I can call you back still, I don't have a problem. Alright, yeah, yeah. How far straight up are that we are trying to figure out? No, man, anyway, you need to turn off, just come straight. So, suppose I pass it? You can't pass it, man. I'm going to shape car with the entire road. Yeah. Alright, Jenna. Alright. 
right, general. Anything me shout yeah. about, but me depend on my way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I like how he gave me some information because he was like, come yeah. straight up. Like, how far is straight yeah, up? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we should uh, have asked anywhere to buy like any food or anything on the way. There should be, right? Oh, probably, but we could come back down. Okay. Like, we could always, we just want to find a place. Like, okay. Yeah, we can come back down. We can go in the town of, like, the Port Antonio, the, the town area. Okay. It's a little drive though because this is like the first part of Portland as I was saying. Yeah. But it's it's like not far to be honest, not far, but the job we can go in and we could and it's a nice chill town too. Yeah. We could find somewhere to just you know, and they have like jerk pork. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you know there's there's a whole bunch of stuff. We are good. Sounds good. I think I don't want to definitely try some more patties today. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Yep, we can definitely get it. If they're accessible, not Yeah, we can get it. I mean, this is a country, I know a lot of the places they close early, but we, we're not that late. We, we should be able yeah. to get to get it. Yeah. And there's a little section where they have a, some fruits and stuff too. We could stop oh, there, yeah, on our way into the town. So we just set up shop here and then we could leave out yeah so he's like it's they there is a old car in the road and then there's a jeep with some gravel in there huh? yeah he's like yeah, you can't miss it so in jamaica like people from the country areas they give directions differently yeah and everywhere yeah. is right around the corner it's close by right yeah, around the yeah. corner just up there and it's far. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a thing in Jamaica. They're known for that. Everyone yeah. makes a joke about it. I just saw. Uh, I don't think. But he said, "Don't turn." So he said, "Straight up." build houses. Yeah. Good evening mommy. May I go cascade? Meet up on the right road? If we can drop your girl far up the road, I go. Hey? Come for the side. Yeah, Jenna. Yeah. Where's your problem now? Yeah, may I come to see a please call me, man. That's why I'm ringing you back. I don't need to call you. You're a credit man. 
Oh, oh, maybe it's a missed call message then. Alright. Alright. So you say you come off? Plymouth. So we reach there so before we reach Cascade. Yeah. So how far how far cascade like in a minutes? minutes. Oh, yeah, how much minutes away? Eh? Yeah. About oh, fifteen minutes. Fifty? Fifty? Yeah. Yes. Fifty? Yeah. Wow. You serious? Why well, I'm afraid? Cause when country people tell me say they're far far with you, you know. <laughs> Cause we normally everywhere they near for country people, you know. You normally tell us just around the corner. Okay. And if you say 50. It's a good distance, yeah, like, Wow, I'm uh, afraid. If you reach a pivot, yeah, you still have to go up. Uh, wow, but it's but a straight though, no turn off. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we all here to reach up if we ever stop. Why? You take taxi? Yeah, we have a Oh, 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 oh. We think yeah, yeah, we so. so walk in a walk for me? No, okay, ma. Oh. Okay. Yeah, 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 I understand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I understand. Wow. So Cascade is a community? Yeah, it's a community. Okay, okay, cool. Reef are you up there? Can I think there's a river up there? Small river. Oh, where the river the name? Uh, eh? Yeah? Oh, that's called the big river. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Don't you wanna really live for that still, man? Means a town, man, you know? Yeah, so many really. Uh, but I know you wanna town. Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me not, me not come from the side. Yeah, <coughs> I'm mean, going to look a place at the upper cascade so I may try to find one look at Airbnb. Yeah, so I may try to find it. Yeah, man, this take a look at time. Touch over one inch more on your side. Yeah, bless up, bless up. Yeah. <laughs> So it actually means bread and bread, bread, bed and breakfast. Okay. So it's like a little stayover, not a hotel, but a little house. Okay. You can just sleep over and something. Like really that. Oh. Yeah. 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 She, she do, where she do it? Here or overseas? No. Oh, uh, she have people stay over. Yeah, yeah man. I don't have any place now. Yeah, cheaper than the hotel, you know? Yeah, so people more flock to that. So if they might go on one little place for a time, they'd rather choose this up than, yeah. Yeah, man, that's so you go. Yep. So run is a stay with the crime and thing. Yeah. Oh, that good, that good. That good, that good, that weird. God, who had the news more while in the minute here, some little thing, you know? So that good when you have a little ear away. Everything. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And really and truly, are the people in the community, them, you know, because that them are taking whoever, you know? Yeah, so if everybody stand up against it, the criminal, now we forgot. Yeah. And people push him can go if a man go in and farm go see a man a different thing. Yeah, so once the people them say yo, you know, see a mindset like you, you know want that to run and eat now, you know, yeah, now go work, yeah. True. Yeah. Nice. Wow, that good man. Yeah, that good. Yeah, that good, that good. That good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me, me understand. Cause you know people are people, so every no one did whatever. But yeah, for real. All I would stay like this, like you know, get rocky or. Oh. 
Yeah, it good. Oh, well, that good. Originally, like, well, are we straight? Straight. straight. Okay. Oh, okay. Originally. Alright. Yeah, originally, like, my 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 grandmother used to live at Port Dalina, you know, but there was a place named Mortow. But I don't really know, know it like that. Yeah, but and then she didn't you know, move, live at St. Thomas. So in you know, my days when we usually go look for her, uh, at St. Thomas, we used to go. Yeah. More town. Yeah, this are uh, them. That's the eastern side, it's the west. Oh, this is yeah. western Portland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 for real, for real. That nice man, whole Jamaica know that man. <laughs> whole Jamaica know I love Portland man. You understand? Yeah. Love how to make the parish and you know, keep it from that level, you know? Yeah. No bag of crime and them something for real. Yeah. Yes, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. So you have only pack coffee farm and them somebody up inside there? Yeah? Eh? Which way? We walk like like so. We walk around so. So. Okay. Eh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. About about a little coffee um, plant in there. Oh. <laughs> that good man. That good. Section and town is live. Like eh? Yeah. So Kingston Five now normally go around crossroads side inside there. Yeah. Oh, the uh, 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 jungle <laughs> near jungle Maxfield side them place yeah. there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad people place for me too. Yeah. So where do you actually born here at Portland or? Yeah, the end of Go to Kingston and then you know. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, it makes sense, yeah, mommy. Nice a place and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Everything, mommy. Everything, everything, mommy. Yeah, because you have to come out, probably they know the work and whatever still, but. Yeah? yeah maybe, maybe if she can come back to Portland because if she so highly qualified, she more than likely she will get a job which maybe she can sustain, you know? Yeah, because yeah, she not going to just be a regular teacher. What if she have her good qualification? So, anywhere she go, we are higher. They have to pay her a certain. Why, everybody, everybody, mommy, I think about that because money better, everything. And you see what I'm going on now. Them. Now nah, be a teacher, police, nobody, no government worker now nah, get no pay. Money I do something different except pay. Why, mommy, yeah, me I tell you. Me I tell you, mommy, it, 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 boy, in a level at all, it can't feel bad. You see, I know, let me tell you my problem with it. The amount of pay them I get, them should not get so much, you know, but let me tell you. You see, if them did just say, let me give the people them what they want. Yes. You know, so nobody would not complain. The teacher, the police, These, the, the, the doctor, the, the nurse. nurse. Them you know, them, nobody wouldn't complain. Yeah. Nobody wouldn't complain, you know. Them would have said, boy, the 
them wicked, you know, them should not get so much, but them would not complain like that. But it's like a double punishment you now when you see them take so much and then they tell you, you can't get. You understand? Yeah, I don't mean, I mean, I mean like that. Yeah, I don't mean like that. You see, mommy, you all have something where all the teachers them know. Them, you have teachers where I teach for years and can't buy a car, you know. Them have still a tape bus in the Yeah, that's not nice, you can't remember. Yeah, my mommy had a boy pick me uh, young, you know. Holy papa, we get to school, you know. <laughs> and when teachers stress out, if you actually, if you actually, um, if you actually come home now, if you go, Struggle, struggle, pam, bus and them something there again with the same set of pity them to more while and they say, Nah, man, teacher, if you have care, them can jump in them vehicle and relax and drive home. And I get good pay, them can go buy a house and comfortable pay them mortgage or whatever. Yeah, them, them certain people you have to look out for in your country, man. You can't, nation builders, them, you know, man. Police and nurse and them people. Yeah. But, boy, I mean, you know, it's a different thing. Yeah, that different. I mean, when it's not going to change, yeah, man, it's not going to get worse. The people them think they're better than they are. And that have to change it, mommy. You're right, you know? Guys, I keep in my way. Jamaicans yeah, get soft, mommy. What do you think? Yeah. Mommy, talk to you. They know if I one time, a long time, road start black and him somebody already. If I, did, yeah. if I did one time, everybody soft out, you know, man. Everybody soft out. Yeah, but it's half out, you know, because I tell her, and boy, I don't know, I don't think, I don't think it'll get better, you know, mommy. If they left them people like, nah, I'll get better, mommy. No, nah, it no matter. As far as I see it, a friend thing from both sides with them people. A friend thing, the whole of them, when them did it, them and them friend us. Yeah, at, at that, at, at that, man, for real, man. Yeah man, you know, you know, you know better. One time you usually feel like it would have probably better and they mean you're good, but if you get to live and you see you see you see the two sides of the kind of work and when when one not there, them say ah oh, sana thing yes. I mean they and it could be that the flying man I was easy but yeah they could be that all the problem them hey yeah. Yeah. tell you I can't manage them, baby. I can't manage them. They could be idiot, yeah, man. I can't bother. I tell them right now, but they think they have to prove themselves first. I don't want a man to tell me a story and we plan to do it. Brother, go and do it and come back, yeah, man. Ah, that with the people, the people are tired of that now. Do what you do first, and then come, when we see what you do, then we say, alright. Yeah, I can't tell you. To make a nice, but boy, the pressure would them put you under more while, man. Pressure, yeah, the pressure. Oh God, man, mummy, man, I can't, I tell you, man. Cause, I mean, even people are foreign, you know, they would have rather come and Jamaica come live, you know. They would have rather come cause the food, everything. They want to pull them door and walk out and you know the breeze, everything they want. But the boy, the cars are living, man. Pressuring, man. Pressuring bad. Yeah, it does pressure in every day. Make a sense. Mm, make a sense. Tell them. Refer the over here, sir? Yeah. I'm like, oh, come here, here, water. The, the, the drought? Mummy, a scam. We shall not, we shall not, we shall not export water. Right. Me, right. Me, me say that every day. Too because much water, mummy. Yeah, yes, you probably up, up with my mother right now. Yeah. Of the name spring. Yeah. When the time when you jelly fall heavy. Yeah. Uh, like some days or so. Yeah. So water flows very well every day. Oh my gosh. Mummy. Me dry past don't even enough time, and me never see dry up yet. Me never see bottom yet. Water run whole heap of place. You have countries across the world where them not have no river, them not them surrounded by land and them never have a drought yet. Them never shot a water. I mean yet. Why we well, have here them? Alright. Right. <coughs> hear them. River run. Mummy had the same story. Every year at the same story repeat itself. If you look on the whole drought something, at the same them all the speech them where they probably come give you a year time. I could have the same speech every year, probably you now look back on it. 
But every year when they check the news about the drought something, they say the same thing every year. And them talk about the dam the man they say them not. Them not do it, them not them not do it. And 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 my mature is something. Them, them, them not them not interested to do it to the mummy because you see even them can get the water from the river them and the same river can generate its own current to pump the water to run the pump so you don't need none extra you know you have hydraulic pump where run by the same water them don't need none extra money but for them things they just want to talk they don't want help with it actually you talk we shouldn't, shall, we shouldn't sell water yeah we shouldn't sell water mommy. we shouldn't sell water that we shouldn't do we shouldn't sell water yeah what? Yeah, you're right. Especially that side there with the water, yeah? Yeah, yeah good water, man. Now tell them. Alkaline water and everything. Natural spring water. We shouldn't sell it. That, that we shouldn't profit half of that and make money. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm. Oh, oh, God. Why me nah love? Why me have to? Why come like me have to come link you more time for some fruits? Cause me I tell you with your tone and enough time I come a country, me look pan it. Everything I wear small while everything. You see all that now? There should be a way. Forget it in a Kingston to the people who want it and all of them. Yeah, there, there should be a way to do it. Yeah, you understand? You know set up right for you, mommy. A true. We know for day where we have the things them. And we can't get access to them and the liquor what we get if we are spending too much money and buy them. Joke thing, yep, joking thing. No, nah, I tell a lie. Joke thing. Definitely taxi in a really run after in up as a mummy. Yeah, when I really just like that job. Oh. So like when the me at that me at so like when the people them for go to school, how that go? And people are coming from work, how that go? They have to wait long. Jeez. How much them charge from day for come up as a Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so the so taxi would have would have bring you up there too? Yeah, would have Oh, but that's our turn off. Oh, okay. Okay. They may probably want to come work here around us still. And then a certain time of night, they stop running. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no, I say. Wow, wow. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, but no, I say, going to some of my country here, them man. Certain time, can't find them. They're nice. I guess us or us regular man. Uh, yeah? Okay, okay, okay.
and this are the only way for go cascade well. Yeah. Think the, the per, but the thing per se could have drive round so to St. St. Andrew. Come down like papi inside them place there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You ever take that route there? Huh? You ever take round there? And at any time uh, yeah, which road they that say are the better one? This side that. But, but based on when you remember, let me talk like with all the cliff. Because I feel like Ron so probably have more cliff. And. Yes, I have more cliff. And last time I checked in the middle of the road. Okay. The part of the road is in that part. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Somehow I just feel like that way would have been the better way still. Because. I don't know. The, yeah, the, the, the highway, coming from somewhere, the highway, part of the highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because me, I think about what you call it there. The, the last time I got, where you go? You got maybe Spanky and go, but are they there? St. Andrew? Yeah. Because me, I said the last time. Newcastle. 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 Oh. Because you said the last time, I think when you got away, the boy had too much cliff here, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, them party and them some who can deal with it, but oh god, man, I can't take it. I think call them for them side, they too much, too much cliff, man. Yeah, I don't feel like the road around this one. I feel like probably more people travel here, so than around this one is more seem lonelier to me, yeah. I think around this one, I wait, oh, it's for some of their parts. So it's a first game up here. Yeah, the first me I come here to say, you know, I come through Portland whole heap of time, you know, but at the first, I never turn off a buff beer come up here, so. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, oh, round, so? Yeah. yeah, but a long time since me not go. Me, me, which part of me there told me, me have one elder who live near me, my coffee farmer, you know. Okay. So, him usually, we usually go round, so regular, like in you know, summer, me used to go, when we used to go to school, all of us were living in a little area, used to just jump in a little van and go up there. And at the time we used to go up at Blue Mountain and we used to do a whole heap of little, little things but a long time that moment. Yeah, long long time that. But remember that really day, the road used to bad man, it too bad. I'm <laughs> afraid around there. Yeah. Too much precipice around that part then. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Yeah man. And and me I tell her it no ramp for rain and the road no ramp for slip around there, me I tell her. What? Sometimes the how we drive go up there and so we are come down. And sometimes we are come back down piece of how we drive and slide and go on a gully. Uh -oh. But I'm afraid of road the movie. Like well, hopefully, I'm afraid of road the movie, but not like. And more than the van full of people. Catch me say my coffee farm, I have a little work at them too and something. So sometimes I carry them down and what I'm afraid of road the movie. I said, no God. Yeah. Tell them I'm afraid of road the movie. And I don't think me myself ever drive myself round the need. I don't think I ever drive round it. Always somebody else that drives so I know. Maybe one day, one day I wake up still, maybe. If it's a group I drive with her, I know, yeah. But that's a nice though, I like in the hills, yeah. Yeah, nice, nice body. Yesterday Silver Hill Bridge. Silver Hill Bridge. Oh, yeah? Wow. River. Nice. I'm on it, nice. Which way now, homie? Wait near, wait near. Black Bridge? Yeah, what, what them do around there? Like, like, show find the water and Oh, yeah? Mm. Even recently, I like now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Nice. So the river and everything. Oh, so the river actually did it though. The river. Was, oh, yeah. Nice. So, so, actually, you no. Know, so, if if you're up here, so, and you actually want to go, um, like you want to go to Port, Port Antonio, you have to come back down above here. Yeah. Oh, no way in the they through the hill for go down. You have to go around, so. Oh, and what if you are going even like St. Margaret's Bay or so you have to come back down to see me? Yeah, yeah, oh, 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 understand. Oh, yeah? Oh, cool. Yeah, 
Parce que ça, il y a des fous à pipe là. Ça. Them thing are the people who live a foreign and them thing are the miss, you know? That's why they don't really want to live there just through the money. They might try to make, yeah? yeah? Them thing are the people them like them river and them thing they where them can come and go. Say we just continue straight. Alright. Yeah man, yeah man, I know mean, that's why I ask you man. I <laughs> know man. You know man. Uh, Andre my name and this is Alyssa. Yeah. Alright, Millicent. I like your spirit, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're nice. Yeah man, you're nice man. Good people. I say you got good people energy always attract to one another, you know? Yeah, I say you got. She, she actually come from, she's an Italian, you know. Okay. Yeah, very far, Europe. But she live in America, though. All right. Yeah, yeah. My stuff is right here, man. Right here, yeah, so you, you go up the hospital. Oh, you yeah. go up, so? Yeah, we go. Backside. <laughs> All right, mommy. All right. Yeah, man. yeah, man, you're welcome, man. Is it me? Yeah. Take care of yourself. All right. Yeah, big up your daughter. I hope she get you the monsters, you know. All right, yeah, bless up. You have all your back then? Yeah, Alright. Yeah, like I tell you, like the, in the countryside, yeah. people always asking for rides. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, can imagine her walking that far. So Listen, far. 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 Because that's what I was asking. I was like, how the hell would you get home if we didn't stop to ask yeah. you, you know? Yeah, I was like, wow. I wasn't surprised when she asked me because, as I said, they're always doing that because I passed a guy uh, uh, further down. He was he had uh, like some bags at his feet. He had a spliff in his mouth. Yeah. I was gonna ask him, and he would have probably known. But I really never wanted him to ask me for a ride. As bad yeah, as it sounded, yeah. I never wanted him to ask me for a ride. Yeah, you know, because yeah. yeah. And that's why I asked the guy that was sitting down because he was selling something. That's true. That's yeah. Really well, he's not gonna want a ride. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. But they're they're like country people are always friendly. To be honest. Yeah, she and, was so nice. Yeah, she's cool. She's nice, very friendly. She was pretty easy to understand as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. For our elderly lady, right? Yeah. She she totally got everything. She she she's up with the times. Trust me, she's up with the times. That's good. So she said it's fifty minutes. From fifty, that. and she she I I just remembered. I think when I um was reading the thing uh-huh. it said an hour from buff bay or an hour from oh, some place right. on saint in yeah. saint andrew so i yeah so when she said about 50 minutes she's 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 right on she's right yeah okay. yeah yeah I, I remembered but the guy he's probably bad at giving direct he should have told us yeah. like it's our drive but then it's it's listed in the thing so maybe he's like why are you asking me this don't you see that you yeah, said our yeah, drive sure. right <laughs> yeah but yeah so maybe then so far, if we see anything, we need get, to yeah. get. We'll get stuff. Perfect. We need to. We'll get, see coconut tree. I'll climb it. I'll get us some coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Listen, we need to get something because if I had realized this, we I would yeah, yeah, definitely. Because yeah. here I was telling you we could go and come, but going in this far. Yeah, at nighttime would be. Very yeah, scary. definitely. I would be very scared on this road. Definitely not like Miss Jen's place. Yes. yes. <laughs> definitely. Miss Jen's not. place is close to everything. <laughs> This is, but hopefully that little town has something. I don't know. Oh, there. Oh, that's true. She says it's like a community. Yeah, yeah. She did say But that. but it's the country, so it can be just like Everything this, like close. right here. Yeah. So what exactly you, you want to get? Like you, just, you want to get beer? Fruits, you want to get f- food? Fruits? Yeah, yeah. All right. So any. I little, could even live off of fruits tonight. I don't all even right. Need real food. Okay. All right. So anything we see, we just stop and get. Yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah, we, we probably need to do better at the planning of getting stuff. Yeah, it's probably my fault because I should have known that we're going rural, like, you know, but yeah, we're figuring it out. Oh, yeah, we, I mean, we definitely won't start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. The right thing, though, like, <laughs> as much as I'm Jamaican and everything, if it was Kingston, like, I'm. Um, 
not really picking up people like that. Oh yeah, exactly. Nah, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't. Like a lot of times I'm in the country and persons will. Because no, there was this one girl too when we were driving, she was trying to stop us because yeah, I guess she I wanted. That. Yeah. She yeah. Right, so the country you always find, but you still gotta still be careful, like you know, you yeah, still gotta you like fill it out. Yeah, you know, but in the country, like you always, and most times it's females that are asking for rights, too. Yeah. A lot of times. Jenna, I'm gonna go cascade my boss. I'm gonna right way. Alright, respect, yeah? Yeah, yeah, bless up. And in and, and the country, people here, they have a different dialect, too. It's oh, like, really? yeah, it's like. It's like southern people in um, American, uh, yeah, yeah, they're different, yep, yep, it's different. <laughs> Alright, so you see we're at the edge and stuff, so, so yeah, I'm not doing any form of backing up right now. Yeah. These guys over this side, they're pretty safe, they can back all the way up if they need to. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> a little bit too um yeah it is a little bit too oh, you want to try to stop and get something sure, like yeah. beer or whatever yeah let's do it oh no let me try to pull up a oh, little oh well we can, there's gonna be more places all right yeah, all right. yeah there, all right. if there's one there i'm sure it'll be one all right yes. rather than back it up you know? yeah and i'm pretty sure his community should have the but wasn't his thing with the pictures with the kitchen and stuff, the food and... Yeah, there's a kitchen there. Yeah, but I don't know if... Because sometimes some of these people... So, alright. They will prepare food for you, but you have to, like, be there. To tell yeah, them what exactly what you, you want. want. Yeah. I don't think... I, I'm not sure. I don't know how his place is. Yeah. But they don't... I don't think they'd, like, have the food prepared and you come and say, Hey, what's on the menu? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm not sure. Unless he has multiple people. People there And he already. cooked, like, uh... Yeah. Look, look, look at that. Wow. Shit. You you wanna come out? Like if, if you wanna step out and try to get some don't go too far though. Yeah. yeah. Can you still see it? Yeah. Alright. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. Take your time, no rush. Take your time. Don't go too far. <laughs> That's like natural that's spring beautiful. water. Yeah, that's natural. That's yeah. And the lady, I, I like, she's fully aware of what's going. Because Jamaica here, we have every year we have this drought, this talk about drought and blah blah blah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't be sh have no shortage of water. And that's yeah, one place. You so get what I'm saying? Water, yeah. yeah. Look how many places so we there pass. Is a shortage of water right now? Yeah. Hey, look at this. Shit. Wow. Whoa. This is so good. Natural spring water. This is Jamaica in the hills of Portland. Look at this. Hills of Portland, this. Water does a run, sun, a waste, so I never tell you about drought. Look at this. Nice. No. So yeah, there's a shortage of water. Like there's every summer there's a drought. Talk about drought, this drought that. Wow. Every summer there is. Look at that. Jamaica should be selling water. Right? Yeah, we should be exporting water. That's natural spring water. That's probably coming out of a cave or something. Yeah. Or outside of out of a rock or something. Oh, trust me. And if it's a farm, I'm sure they have like fruit and stuff they grow. They might yeah, sell you should have stuff. everything. You should have everything. Everything should be there. Trust me. Everything should be there.
got some rainfall too. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I could have managed this road with the rain while the rain was falling. Oh yeah. <laughs> Taking a break in town. Yep. That was probably the reason not knowing why we were driving around, but yeah. Shops there. Yeah, we could stop at that one. It looks pretty. Pretty good. Are you able to park there when you swap? No, we can no? just pull up beside it. Yeah. Hey people, so we stop on one little shop and we are get some little snacks and then look at thing there. Oh, what you name, my boss? Spring Hill. Spring Hill, yeah. So we stop at Spring Hill. See, Lisa is having chips, like plant chips. Saldanza. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we stop and get little something. Just in case when we reach up our destination, they don't not have no food or no nothing. We are just munch on this for the night and something because trust me people the drive for come up is far and we don't think we are drive come back down tonight. We are just going to build till tomorrow but you know yeah. I have some magnum too and make sure try the good old magnum. See if she can manage it. <laughs> but young people we're there in our shop here. Where that shop your name? United Ghana. United Ghana. Yeah. Up at Spring Hill. Yeah where the elder name here? Big Z name, why you not big? I'm bigger than you. <laughs> See, Big Z people, Big Z United Ghana. Yeah, man, I don't know. Big Z good brother, I'm dealing with proper, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, bless you for yourself, my boss. My respect, and we appreciate it, you know? Yeah, yeah man. Well, roasted plantains on a fire would be really good. Yeah, you, you had it? No, man. It would be good. Yeah, it's sweeter and everything. It's super good. I was like, come straight up. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. I would have, even if, I would have told you like, hey, like you've got to drive for like an hour. Come on, yeah, it's not even. straight up an hour. Like, when you say yeah, come straight, straight up, up, you're like, okay, it's like five, two minutes. Yeah, yeah, really close. Like, I didn't even know this. Good thing we came in the daytime. I would hate to be on this road at night. night. Yeah, a little barren estate. Yeah, because I'm not even familiar with this stretch around here. Look at these plants here. I what they would call them, but in the country you always see them. <laughs> so cute! <laughs> this is a nice house for the country area too. I like the fact that these people, they build up their stuff, you know? As a child when I used to come to the country, like all the houses was just like one thing. They were like, mm. Yeah, I like so damn, so if I came to Buff Bay and I wanted to come to Cascade in a taxi, I, I wonder how would I reach? Because I haven't really seen a like yeah. a passenger vehicle. Me either. Shit. Not one. Damn, and it was like it's still good timing, like it's early evening. People are yeah. still coming in from work, so I wonder how they get up there. How they get here, yeah. Oh, this looks like it has an amazing view too. <laughs> I don't think people leave when they come up to his right? place. Like, yeah. They just they no wonder he has a kitchen like right? like yeah. he has prepares food because it, it I don't think it would make any sense. Trust me, if I'm here for a couple of days, I'm staying You're, put. Yeah. I'm just like no be joke. around the yard and whatever. And like, I think there's actually hiking trails near his house. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think mm, there are. Nice. So that's definitely something to consider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Makes sense. Yep, I'm staying. I'm, I'm just up here. Whatever yeah. we need to do, what we can find to do, we 
do it up here and then afterwards then yeah we come down when we're going back home <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> exactly right You have seen how the um the bananas grow on the trees though, right? Mm -hmm. Like they're upside down. Yeah. <laughs> I showed Darlene that she she was amazed. Yeah. Yeah, this one like, time what? I yeah, I called her I think I I think it was a video call, I don't remember, or or, or, or I made a video and I showed it to Darlene. Darlene was like, What? That's how bananas grow. I was like, Yes, Darlene, these are these are bananas, <laughs> this is how they grow. She was like, Wow, they grow upside down. I was like, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> She was amazed. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. There's this one guy one time my friend told me about in the US he said he thought limes grew underground. Oh my god. Yeah, and I'm like, it's like, yeah, the guy my friend was telling him, no, my friend had to Google a lime tree. Or something, yeah, and show it to him. He was like, no way. Wow. He was a born American. Yeah. Wow. He had no idea. <laughs> He was like, I always thought these things grew underground. <laughs> I'm like, no. Because they think the same for lemons and oranges. And I, I'm not even sure, but I think like limes and lemons, he thinks grows. He thought those grew underground. underground. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, like, there are two cars on this road. I can't imagine. No, they like to pass. Yeah. No, they, can't, they cannot. I tell you, like a lot of the country roads, this is how they are to go up into these districts. Yeah. This is how, yeah, that, this is how they are. And trust me, this one, it's not bad. This one is pretty good. Yeah. I'm wow. telling you, yeah. Some of them, they're terrible. I couldn't even be going this fast. Yeah, she said the road was pretty good coming up too, right? <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, that's what she said. Say it's not as good as the one there, yeah. But you know, yep. And when she was telling me, I knew exactly what she was saying because if it was bad, she would have been like, "It's bad." Like we Jamaicans, we know how when yeah. somebody tell you the road is bad, you definitely know it's yeah. bad. So once they tell you like, "Oh, it's not too bad," you know, like yeah, it's, you can trust it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Colombians know. Colombians also, if they don't know where something is, they'll give you wrong directions. What? They yeah. don't tell you that they don't know? Nope. Shit. They will, no Colombian will admit to not know and they would rather tell you wrong information Shh. than to admit that they don't know. Shit. Yeah. It's, it's not good. It's <laughs> terrible. Um, that's actually how I got flown from Colombia on a wheelchair because um, we were in this little town called Minca, which used to be like really dangerous area. Uh-huh. And um, the, we were trying to get directions. We had a motorcycle. Right. And we were trying to it was me and my ex husband. We were we were trying to get directions and somebody told us the wrong way. Mm hmm And because they didn't know and um, we ended up like in the middle of the jungle. We broke Shit. our uh, our tire to our uh, motorcycle. Shit. So we had to like walk the motorcycle out and it was Shit. really bad. Wow. There's a river over here can you hear the water. Yeah. But damn But I ended up getting tendonitis in my foot. And I couldn't walk. And I was supposed to go on like this crazy hike to like uh, like a lost city, kind of like Machu Picchu. Yeah. But I had to fly home. Damn. Because I didn't have uh, medical insurance in the mm. Colombia. Because we weren't living there at the time. We were oh, just on oh, vacation. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Wow. He was living there, I wasn't. Because we got married. Mm -hmm. We didn't live together until we were married. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh. so we got married and then I. Mm -hmm. Three months we were. Long distance for four months into our marriage. Oh, wow. And I was in the United States finishing up my work. Yeah. Because I worked in research, so it's like you got you can't just stop working. You have right. to finish your totally. research. Yeah, totally get it. Mm -hmm. Wow. But yeah, as well, went to visit him. Oh. It was before we were married, actually. Oh. Yeah, it was before we were married.
here is good. That's one thing I'm oh, sure of right now. Because yeah. yeah, we're like up in the hills, so I'm pretty yeah. sure. Oops. Can't imagine it, would it be? Every aspect has already been so beautiful. Yeah, mm hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he had a river close to the place. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because the river area was just here in the water. So I guess if you need to get, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I guess you could come here for hiking and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think they do here. So you would um, you would um. Let me see. This says Blue Mountain Bicycle Course. Yeah. So they actually bike. give you right. They so have you breakfast here too. If we want. It looks oh. Like All right. Nice. Nice. So I guess they do bicycle tours up there. Hmm, but how? Because they're open, even. But, but, but I even wonder how they actually do it because it's hard to actually ride a bike to go uh, up. Uphill, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, and the trails are not, like, it's, it's, I know they have uh, mountain bikes in America yeah. and stuff, but trust me, based on what I remember, yeah, it, it would be hard, but I don't know, unless they, like, drive you up to a point with the bikes and yeah then, and then you just go down the hill. yeah or something i don't know but wow so it's good to know something is there yeah exactly yeah whether now next time whenever you know at least exactly. we know exactly where we, what we what we can do next time we'll get a bigger vehicle yeah like a probably suv SUV, something yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 but this pretty much handled the road it pretty well though like it's, yeah it's, doing good. it's just that thingy that's hanging down that's making that oh is that what that is sound. Oh, okay yeah it's just the thingy underneath they have like a guard and it's just hanging down oh i see yeah that's what it is yeah with the truck it was like screaming on your body of the car yeah so it's, it's not even the bumper or anything it's just a little plastic thing they have And that's how it is like every time you go around yeah. some place there's water just coming coming out could be like coming out of rocks or whatever but this place is totally it's a different vibe from miss jen's because as i was oh, saying yeah. miss jen it's like you know everything is just it's right just right there, yeah, right there. Yeah. But you're you're there, but you still don't feel like you're re really uh -huh. close to yeah. anything. But you know, you could be like, oh yeah, we could just go down in the town, like a quick ten minute drive yeah. to the town. Definitely not here. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta if you should like live here or come to stay again, you have to really pack everything sure that you, you yeah. yeah uh huh yeah because to go back down to the town area, which is Buff Bay, where we turned off that road. Yeah. That's pretty far. That's far, and then to yeah. get into um, Port Antonio, like the capital of Portland, that's a little drive away too from Buff Bay. So yeah. Yeah, unless you had a motorcycle. Yeah, that way you would go faster. I feel like these roads are almost safe on a motorcycle too. Because it's, it's smaller. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's smaller.
Mars coming. Yeah, I'm really surprised when I decided to go back and leave now. Please. Unless they're not staying here, they're just going back. Yeah. <laughs> we just be by ourselves right here. I don't know, they have Wi Fi up here? Uh, they do. They do? They said that they do, I'm pretty sure they do. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we, our phones are good, like we have data service though, but yeah. I'm just saying because it's so remote, I'm just yeah, really wondering true. if, but you might never know, we might get to the community and see that it's vibrant, you might never know, a little town. Exactly. Yeah. That's very true. Uh-huh. There's a car. <laughs> right? <laughs> he probably lives somewhere nearby. <laughs> oh, they say meals can't be prepared by the host at additional cost. That's fantastic. Right. Yeah, that was what I was thinking, you That's know? That's fantastic. All right, so then we can just pay them to make us dinner. Yeah. yeah I was going to see. Sometimes it can be costly to Yeah, you know? yeah. We'll see what the price is. Yeah. Um, they do have Wi Fi. Okay. All right. And pets are allowed, so if we see a dog we want, oh, <laughs> we can yeah. show them a good night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't God. say I haven't done that in Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> my ex-husband, he was, mm. he was so supportive though. Yeah. He would get annoyed sometimes, but he was mostly supportive. Like That's he was good. just like, you would never see me on the side of the road helping a dog until I met you. Wow. So, and especially like in Colombia, like, you know, he would ex he actually got a really soft spot in his heart, and he we made an agreement that I would not bring any dogs home, that they would stay at the shelter, but there was this one dog who was so badly abused, she had like so many mental problems from it, she needed to be in a home. Right. So I, he let me bring her home, and he fell in love with her. Oh, yeah? He fell in love with her, oh, and that was nice. when he, that was like the first dog I rescued. Oh, And that wow. was when he realized, like, okay, like... Yeah, yeah, this does make sense. Yeah, exactly, and then he was supportive. Okay, that's good. And he, because she had a bunch of babies and stuff like that, so yeah. he always had a hot, a soft spot for like oh. long dogs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, there's another sign. I think this was. Oh, oh it says, "Welcome to Cascade by a Regal." Regal. So the guy was telling me you gotta go to Regal, Regal first, yeah. and then Cascade. So yeah. So I guess the whole area is Cascade, but this area first is Regale. This is Via Regale. This road is crazy. This road, right? Yeah, once you... These are, these are the authentic Jamaican country roads. So those guys way down in Buff Bay, uh -huh. they wouldn't have a clue uh -huh. about. Uh -huh. Nah, they would. They would definitely have to know Cascade to whatever because they wouldn't know the hell where we're going. Right. Yeah. yeah, they they have no idea. I don't. Nah. in Jamaica once you see them you ask them if they know the place and once you see them start to be like oh yeah 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 they don't know where it is
<laughs> I really am a passenger princess. This is a little bit of a definition. Right? Yep. <laughs> Thank you for giving me this opportunity. <laughs> uh, you're more than welcome. It's not a problem. I think when we get close to his place, as he said, there's a a car like an old Toyota Corolla yeah, and car, a and then a Jeep with something in the street. So yeah, once we see that, we know we're pretty close. But and let me see. So he's the car he said is something like this, like an old know. car. <laughs> he's just saying hi to you, buddy. That's him because he said there's a car. What is it? Yo, fam. I'm going to stop work. Are you? Yes, so I'm going to say hello. But yeah, if you say you're a me, man. Because yeah. we don't know people see people, you know, yell and think. Everything good. Alright, brother, brother. Yeah, man, bless up, man. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Oh, for, oh, for, oh, for jokes, for oh, for park. And I hear you say now, over the road, you're supposed to be able to get some money for your sister. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, somebody up there, what go on? I'm here for a while. I hear you boom bang. Yeah, man, so, just take the time go up. Yeah, don't pass when you go around the corner, yeah? Yeah. You go around the bridge, you don't pass over there, so. But you see them, you go park up. What do you say over there, so? Which part? Right. So, them carry with the person, you have to drive past them, man. And go around. And go around, eh? Once you have inside, they come on. I'm coming to this, you're going to park. Ah, yeah, man. We're dead, man. All right. Sorry about that, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. I guess he was trying to call. I don't know if my phone was probably battery died or something. But he was calling too decent. He's like, hello, hello. Yeah. But you see how he knew it was us because we said we were coming and then probably no vehicle comes up here. So anything yeah. you see and he probably saw must me be. Yeah. Also. There's a bar Down here. the whole bar. Yeah, that's what he's got. See the sign on the yeah, thing. Like Down the whole bar. Wow. <laughs> You see, these places is more of a vibe and everything. Yes, we're gonna go to the cantina. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that's what a bar is called. And yeah, oh. well, in Mexico. Yeah, yeah, he's down the whole. So here, so because even in like Jamaica, they have like shut off times for parties and stuff. Yeah. But I usually go to like parties in the country and stuff, and it is a vibe. Oh, I bet. Because there's no ending, there's no closing time, whatever, no shut off time. We just go party until everyone's tired. Nice. You hear the river? Yeah. It's Shit. Good spot. Nice. Trust me. I think this is him behind us because he said we go over the bridge and stuff. Yeah. This is this is probably him behind us. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you see the river? Yeah. Wow. There's a waterfall. Wow. And I'm telling you, this water is cold. I know oh, it. I bet. Yeah, because it's probably coming out from the Blue Mountains. It's cold, super cold. It's like ice water. It's a good thing you're from Pittsburgh because oh, right? you're used to that cold. <laughs> Trust me, when I was there, like here, I would. You see how we bought the cold water? Yeah, yeah. In Pittsburgh, I would just leave the water, like, to, and it. and it would get. Yeah, it just gets that chill temperature. I wonder if he's. I wonder if it's down here. Let me see. Yeah, he says there's a cabin sign. Cabin.
grabbing on the hill or something. Let me hear what he's saying. Let's park, yes, sir. Got it? Alright, so yes, I it. Alright, no problem. Yeah. Park right here? Yeah. I wonder if I should turn first and park facing down. Yeah, because he said, because I think it's downhill. But because it's not a four wheel drive, we'll get stuck. So we have to, so I have to make sure I park. Yeah, so I have to make sure I park like really good because it's by the roadside. All right, hold on. I'll just, you want to get out first? Yep, I can get out and help guide you. Yeah. I wonder if I should park facing down the other direction or what? Well, it looks like he was, was that him? He just pulled around somewhere. So okay. Do you want to ask him? Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, let me, let me check. Okay, let's see. Let me, let me check. Because he pulled around real fast. And yeah, let me, let me spot. check. Ask him if I can park. Yo, me can turn and park face so to do. Me can go turn and park facing down so do. We can turn right there, sir? Yeah, but you don't make no sense to turn. Oh, oh, you want to park? Just come back. And park. Yeah, alright. I'll tell you come back. Alright, alright, alright. I'll start now. Alright. Go. Come over. I'm going to say, we're not stuck in this sand. Where may I put the front, sir? Yeah, man, go on. Go on. No, push the front, sir. See you. Alright. Yeah, go on. I'm going to say tail line of the car. Yeah, that made up pretty though. Yeah. Oh, the front does a steel wall there. Alright, so. I'm going to go in some more. Yeah. And just go over now. Yeah, come find the sun. Yeah, take off, take off. Go over. Go over. Alright, yeah. Good that. But good that's up though. Are you able to get out? You wanna yeah, walk through okay. my door? No, I'm just You good? Yo! <laughs>